Yeah. What's good? Y'all hear me? Yo, what's up? Yep, I'm here. What's good, chat? Hey. Send to this intro right now. I had my shit set wrong. Let me first Scared say. Down. First, let me say. Y'all don't got bars like that, okay? Shout out to my boy Wonton featuring Alex, a.k.a. Mr. Bitches. Sir. For the Red pig fire. on the beat. Red pig on the beat. Don't forget that. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, man. They, ooh, that, that, them boys did their thing, huh? Yes, sir. You know, they came, they came true, dog. Hey, listen, man. The rest of you dudes in the community who think y'all be rapping, we don't want to hear from y'all no more. Okay? We don't, we don't want to hear them ABC Barney bars from y'all no more, dog. Them Sesame Street bars, go away. We don't want to hear from y'all no more. You're done. It's a wrap, okay? Listen, listen to that. Man, I'm going to release that thing on Twitter so y'all can listen to it again. Because some of y'all ain't getting it, okay? Some of y'all ain't caught it yet. It's good hey, to be here. Out. It's good to be here. This running is, has me annoyed in this Halo footage. Oh, man. Oh, my bad. I, hold on. Let me adjust something. So, yeah, it's my birthday. Um, happy, oh, I wanted to say happy birthday. I don't, I don't like texting people happy birthday. Like birthday, PG. Them. Happy birthday, dog. Thanks. It's my birthday. It's also... M was also my moving weekend, so I'm like a little bit all over the place. But uh, I see a uh, new internet day. Verizon actually tweeted oh, you that had me dying. It, it's it's a lot of new things, a lot of improvements today. So uh, yeah, shout out to the chat. Appreciate all the birthday wishes on on Twitter right now. Like I have 10% of my setup actually put together. I'm literally holding my mic in my hand right now. I'm I'm holding it in my hand because. Things, so many things are still in boxes. I couldn't, I have a stand and I have a mic arm. And yeah, I can't, I, and, 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 and I, and I couldn't find, <laughs> I couldn't find either one of them in time for the podcast. So I'll pretty much be holding my mic in my hand the whole time. But, uh, that's fine. You know, we're going to do our thing. Uh, let me, uh, just adjust something. Names. Although Twitter is in the uh, on the layout, yeah, I ain't get to that yet. I'm I'm gonna get to it soon though. I'm gonna get to it soon though. Um, so yeah, hope everybody's having a good Sunday, August first. My you know my my born day. It's Leo season. Shout out to all the Leos out there. You know Leos are even though I don't believe in these uh these moons and. And suns and and, and, and and earth signs, all this other stupid yeah. shit, and all this dumb shit about my my moon is rising and it's in it's in descent and all this other shit they be talking about. Listen, your behavior is your behavior. Your no no planet can decide how you want to behave. Okay, but uh, the only thing I do acknowledge is that I'm a Leo. And shout out to other people, you know, born during my my season. Shout out to them. Uh. So yeah, don't, don't be shy, don't be shy about them super chats. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. You know, we, it's, it's your boy's birthday. Been providing y'all with entertainment for like five plus years. So don't be shy now. All right. We appreciate y'all. Uh, so smooth's not here yet. Uh, what a blame. Yeah, these people in the discord are absolutely stupid. Uh oh. Blandrew? Discord needs a clean out. One well, Blandrew. Hey, Blandrew, what's, what's good, bro? He muted. Blandrew Oded. He muted, dog. Okay, and, uh, K no, I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. Oh, I was good, uh, bro. Yeah, I'm setting stuff up right now. Are uh, you moved, too? No, man. No, I just, I just got out of church, so I'm trying to get everything situated. All right. Black, Black people church. What was you it? played the it's tambourine hours? today? What's up, BG? Black people church. Was it like six hours? Yeah, they flew in guests from like Chicago, so they still up there. I I had to leave early just to be here. So Jesus, find some uh, criminals or something. Hey, K Meg is supposed to be our guest today. Um, I don't think <laughs> oh boy, yay! 
What a smooth hat. I don't know. And it's a... Hold on. Oh, look for the GRG. Okay, that's... that's uh, I think I just need... Hey, BJ, I do got a question about your guest selection, yo. What do you mean? Go ahead. Wait, you, wait, you, 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 you always say you can like Xbox fans. You always get, end up getting like the same two people. Like it never be well, nobody. It's, it's, smooth, okay. it's smooth job to bring those exactly. people in. Exactly. Let me. Here's what I don't understand. Right. So I t you you see the DMs. Smooth is ingrained. He is an integral part of the Xbox community. He should have ties to to people. Right. He should be able to smooth, reach out man. and touch the people. He, you I like right? him. He he's the best bot. So. I tell Smooth, like, Smooth, like, bro, we need an Xbox guest. He's like, what? What he said, oh, I don't, I don't interact with them dudes like that, or I don't, I don't Yeah, he with has them, them on like his that. Xbox. He has it on Planet Xbox every week. That's what I'm saying. Like, what do you, you're the best bot, and you don't got Xbox dudes to bring on to the podcast? No, I, I guess Smooth, I'm, I'm kind of the same way. Like, I, for some reason, I feel like PlayStation guys are more with me than Nintendo fans, even though I'm a Nintendo guy. I don't get it. PlayStation fans are more You got to play the actual current Nintendo games, Blandrew. What are you saying, Jack? I said, I said PlayStation fans are more accepting of uh, people, you know. For better or for more, worse, yeah. Or more inclusive, there you go. I mean, y'all y'all let crap gamer come home to y'all, but... Y'all let the PC gamers infiltrate your ranks, too. <laughs> that was the worst mistake. <laughs> Shit is crazy. Yeah, so, so it's, it's up to me to find people in, in that should be in Smooth's refugee camp. And I don't know these, like, even though I watch, I mostly watch Xbox podcasts, still, I'm not like, I don't got the connections like that to be reaching yeah. out to these you, you You a fucking nut for doing that, too. I tried to get a, a Shadow Fox up here, but he was Whoa, busy. Oh, yeah, you will be, yo, we will yeah. kick your ass <laughs> off this podcast quick Shadow as Fox fuck if you invite dickhead. that fuck nigga in here for real. Yeah, See, and you, you wonder why Nintendo fans don't want to show you Give him a chance. No, 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 no. This is not even up for debate, Blandrew. This is the nigga that said that the Wii was more powerful than the PlayStation 3. <laughs> that Wi Fi. Uh, let me pull up the irrelevant files real quick. <laughs> Like, th this guy literally almost gave... Did you see his... The debate Shokyo Shokyo? debate? Yeah, HD's yeah, got a standard like, like, or whatever. You're, you're, that dude is... You stupid, ever, if you ever bring... If that dude ever... Whoever ever brings that dude on is off this podcast. I want, I want him here for the Switch OLED when that comes no, out. No, there's no point. I'm not talking to a fucking idiot. That dude, is a fucking, that dude is a fucking idiot. I'm gonna say it straight up. Shout out to Shadow Fox Infinite. No, I ain't no shout Any out to fucking idiots. Hey, man. Like, like, the... Like the, the the fact that anybody could say that the original Wii is more powerful than the PS3, or that the Wii U wasn't less powerful than the PS4, like you don't need nobody needs to ever have a conversation with you. Maybe you need, maybe you just need to hear him out a little. No, bit. I don't need see to see where he's going with this. I'm not against. I'm not exactly. against bringing him on. Um, I do hate his profile pic. Every no, time I see his I will, profile pic, I will, pic, ju I will just cuss him out and roast him the whole time. Every, if you bring who, him on. every time I don't know, but every time later. I see. Every time I see his profile pic, I just want to strangle kittens, bro. Like it's just he's. Just where where was this him. energy? Where was this energy with Crap Gamer and Mooch? Sir, give give the man a chance. Um, crap Gamer and Mooch didn't say stupid shit like the Wii is more powerful than the Gamer PS3. Gamer and Mooch turn they they turn they shit around, man. They not who they used to be. Man. And that Wi-Fi is more reliable. This idiot said that HDMI is not a standard. That's crazy. Like I I, I can't. I'm not dealing with stupidity. Can't BG already brings that. up BG already brings on dumb guests sometimes. We're not bringing a dude like that on, period. Hold, hold on for a second. Let me change something. Okay. We hear you. There's, there's certain things I'm nego I'll negotiate with. That's one thing I will never negotiate with Blandrew. You might as well bring in like KFD 3D. Who 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 else? The the Bald Brothers. No, I, I wouldn't bring in uh, Super Bros because I think I don't. I don't know how many Nintendo games he plays. I know he I plays Xenoblade to, and Smash Bros, but I don't know how deep he I would is. Rather, into... I, look, Super Brothers. I would rather talk to Black Baron over Shadow Fox Infinite. I tried to. I think he, Baron is just busy these days, but I tried to. Is he doing what? Him. Getting dropped on his head? <laughs> what? Owen oh, forty four, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Hey, man, he, he gonna he gonna get that one though. Yeah, and it's going to be a yeah. monumentous occasion. Facts. I, I knew when they didn't let his ass win during Black History Month, that nigga wasn't winning. <laughs> I was like, they got to throw him a vote on Black yeah, History Month. No, like, he ain't ever winning. Oh. Oh, man. Okay. Let's, uh, let, let's get started, man. Let's get started.
a decent amount of things to talk about today. Uh, and it's my, my birthday, as I said. Um, so I'm not trying to... There, there is no After Dark because, you know... Oh, we live. I'm going to be spending time, you know, with my, with my family. Unless y'all, you know, going to find a problem with that. You know, the audience expects a show no matter what. It's your birthday, so what? Entertain oh, us. It's the Super Bowl. God forbid. Fuck your family. Entertain us, dummy. That's how they... That hey, man, y'all, y'all get them donations up, man. You know what I mean? Oh, also, Shadow Fox said that online gaming isn't a standard. How long ago was this? It doesn't matter. That was only like uh, seven or eight years how ago. Long? This was all. This was, was only seven or eight this was, years. No, it wasn't Bro, even that long ago. This was everything he said it wasn't a standard was already a standard by the time he said it, though. Exactly. <laughs> oh, you, even you if that are... was eight. Even if that was eight years ago, online gaming was a standard. HD was a standard. No, and no, HD I'm saying was a standard. you guys are holding him accountable for comments he made eight years ago. Yes, and this was when, when, ago. Ago. when Xbox fanboys were out here saying, you know, PlayStation was mad about, you know, atomic bombing and stuff like that. Y'all let them slide. That's a stupid they, take. That's not yeah, a factually incorrect take. There's a difference. Oh you can God. be stupid and ignorant about things you say, but you can't be factually wrong and act like you're a super genius and right. Well, HDMI is standard. Online gaming is a standard. I hate to tell you this, but that is what it is. Let's get to the uh, let's get to the intros. Did, yo, did they make the needler a long range gun? I see motherfuckers getting take, took, taken out with the needler from like mad far. Anyway, um, okay, let's do these intros. All right, so Weapon World Podcast episode two ninety. Uh, we are on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify. Uh, check out the Weapon World Patreon. You could support us on there. You can also become a member of the channel um, by hitting the join button. That will give you access to emotes, chat badges and give you access to the Weapon Wheel Discord. Uh, please hit the like button to support the podcast to help it grow. Um, if you would like to submit a video to be featured during the podcast, there is a link in the description. All you gotta do is drag and drop gameplay in there, and uh, you know I will use it to submit a gameplay from week to week. Okay, so let's do these intros. Uh, K-Mega, what's going on, man? Whoa. Hey, Mega. I think he's here. Uh, smooth. Know, What's up, everybody? It is the best. I apologize for talking about that. I just freaking did something rare. I woke up from a freaking nap. Oh my god. Oh, I thought you were about to say you want to bet. I did want to bet, but yeah, I did some sly stuff. But that no, later, no, right? smooth. Right. I right. told you to take that bet, and you didn't I never, take it. I, I did take the bet. I took the bet of like the first time we bought it up. Oh, did you win right. or lose? No, BG saying he backed out. And I don't recall him backing out. I don't it's recall on, him it's backing out. Oh, 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 I don't recall you backing out. <laughs> no, I definitely did. I definitely oh, did. no, 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 no. Oh, no, I, no I, 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 it's not that I backed. I never accepted the bet. I, what? I, I never accepted <laughs> Hey, hey, yo, listen. Oh, no. Weapon wheel, weapon wheel historians, please check last. I think it was last week. Remember, Smooth said. Last two weeks. Last two weeks. It was It was during the last two weeks. Smooth, the bet, the bet I wanted was that my uh, my internet, the upload and download would be mm -hmm. consistently over 900, right? Mm -hmm. Smooth, was it? Uh, no. no. But wait, exactly. wait, wait. You did, so you, you, you did make that bet. No, did no, you no, say no, like no, if it was no, he, he could no, use his own no, sources or something like that? And no, they, but they no, didn't but, agree on a number. On but look, we did. We know. No, then smooth. No, no. Then smooth said no. I wanted nine fifty. Wanted, then yes, yeah, smooth said nine fifty, and I said no. I'm not doing it, and we never came to an agreement. No, dude. I ended up agreeing to the nine hundred, dude. No, you didn't. Go yeah, back did. and check. Uh, so, somebody, somebody go pull back it and up. check. Pull it up. Pull it up. He he never agreed to that. He never. I he was like, no, nah, we, I, 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 I recall leaving the podcast agreeing that we had some sort of bet related to this internet speed. Yeah, even in the DMs, you guys were still talking about it. Uh, nah, uh -oh. somebody got. I'm find BG. It. I'm telling you, I remember. I that. did not. He never agreed to it. And even if he did, I still. I would. Then we would have to run run the test like a, a whole bunch of times. I only did it like twice. But I'm telling you, Smooth did not agree to it. He did not agree. Oh my. Oh but, Butch, my look, God. Butch, Butch, it, Butch knows all the Weapon Wheel records. He says you didn't agree. Nah, B. Nah, dude. I'm, like, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna need great. video clarification and evidence on this one. Somebody pull up the records, man. It's it's. I it's, do not recall walking out of that not having a bet with you. It, it, I, it's like, either it's either during the last two episodes of the podcast or the last the last two after darks. They'll find it. They'll oh find hell it. no! And I'm barely in after dark, so I know I didn't agree to this shit in after dark. So okay, so um, it's in the podcast. They'll find it. 
bro. Like, <laughs> you know this is sounds smooth. This sounds yeah. spooky right here. No, nope, I'm confident. I'm confident. Smooth never agreed. He was like, "Nah, I mean, you gotta be over nah, 50, dog. I can't." Nah, do that. Nah, wait, wait, BG. I'm I'm looking at a DM from July 19th. It said, "Smooth, let's do best five out of seven for the network test. I'll use my site speed.net twice or whatever. Worded wrong. Best of seven. I'll use my site twice, and you use the rest. What site do you want me to use?" That's what you said. Yeah, and he he never answered. Because no, he didn't. We, but I mean, we, exactly. we, we it, it, were doing the speed test. We said that on a podcast. Speed, yeah, the the, the, the the regular shit. Like you, he never agreed to the to the. To bro, the we have a verbal agreement on the podcast to do the he test, bro. Agreed. Somebody pull up the records, man. Somebody pull them up. We, we we gonna get we gonna get to the rest of the podcast right now. The people will will find it. People will will do the research. Okay, uh, Bond intro. All right, everybody. Good weekend. Nice beach trip. Uh, I see a lot of people playing Halo. I have no comments on anything Halo for two reasons. One, I don't want to. I'll play the game when it comes out. And two, everything's subject to change, so I feel like I have nothing to judge on it. Okay. Landrew? How's it going, everybody? Uh, I finally uploaded the Badland Wonder World video. Thank you, everybody, for coming out Good to video. watch it. I appreciate it. I appreciate that, Jack Move. I, I'm trying to get another video out this week, so keep I a look out. I watched the whole thing, man. I watched the whole thing. Back to now. back weeks? Yes. Well, yeah, I'm trying. That's the plan. Yeah, I uh, I watched um, 20 minutes of it. And that's, the, you got to understand, that's a lot because, I mean, it's a 40 minute video. And this is a game that I have no interest in. So for, for me to watch <laughs> a 20 minute video of a game that I do not care about, you know, I, I was there for you. Just want you to I'm know. not gonna lie, I just clicked on it, disliked it, and closed it. <laughs> and BG will tell you that's exactly what I did too. <laughs> I, I appreciate that, Bond. You're well, I, I gotta give the likes, so you gotta hit the button. All right. Um, uh, K Mega, you there now? No, seems like can you, you hear me now? Issues. Yeah, we hear you. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, I was, I got this stupid Windows 11 uh beta. So it's it's been oh, active. No. The computer been acted up. Yeah. So, but it's it's been uh, it's nice. It looks nice. It's got a couple of great features. But other than that, it's uh it's been giving my computer hell. So, uh, okay. yeah. But no, what's going on, man? Thanks for the invite, man. Really uh really appreciate it. Back on. Thanks for coming, um, Jack. Move. What's good, everybody? What's popping? Um, first of all, I do want to say shout out to Coco Long for the old weapon wear intro. I was fucking with a lot of people, you know, had their opinions about it. But uh, also, I want to say shout out to Jiggy Records. We doing it big. Smooth, <laughs> one of my artists, Kid Dangerous, the kid that's dangerous. Mm -hmm. He uh, wants me to formally challenge you to a new Jiggy battle, okay? He wants to battle you and New Yokio at the same time. So let me know what you want to do with that, all right? Just wanted to put that out there. And uh, what else did I want to say? I think that's it, man. Happy birthday, BG. There you go. Thanks. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Uh, once again, thank you to everybody on Twitter, everybody in the chat. Uh, for for the birthday wishes, appreciate it. Uh, I'm 29. Um, on new game, on second new game plus. That's what I'm gonna go with. That's what I'm gonna He's go 30. with. How, 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 how old are you today, now? BJ? Uh, 29 with two new game pluses. But you 31? You 38, yeah. 31. You almost. Yeah, I'm, yeah I think BG only two years younger than me. Not more years until you hit the solid rev baldness. Nah, oh, I'm never wow. going bald. That's that's nah. My genetics are are quite right. Nothing wrong with being bald. Oh, so. uh, I, yeah. no I don't know about that one, Chief. <laughs> Shit. Women love Yo. it just like they love what you got here. So it's all good. Oh, okay. That's what's up, man. Mm. Yeah. Did, did you got a beard? You got a beard or something to compensate? You got to have a beard. Oh, yeah. I, 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 did, I did grow a beard. Yeah, now. So, and now, would you go bald beard. without the beard? Uh, well, I was for a while, yeah, for 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 I don't know, about, about five years. So it was cool. I was, you know, what I'm saying I still wasn't having no problems. But then my son talked me into uh, growing a beard. He was like, you know, because he grew one, and I was like, I ain't growing. Hey, hey Mega, can I ask you something? Go ahead. Is it true that you drew on your beard? Oh no! no. You said you, you had the Beijing joint. No, I mean, I, I know where that came from, but that's all good. I mean, look, <laughs> people see me on streams and everything else, so no. It, it, the, the beard is real. So. You, you, you know, this here. community has a big thing with uh, facial hair, especially BGs. Yeah, they well, obsessed with mine. Uh, Bond, didn't Rev actually people. block you over, over commenting he, on he, his baldness? He, he did. He's not, yeah, he's not. He doesn't he still block that. What's up? He still blocked? Oh, let's see. Probably. Yeah, he, <laughs> yeah he, he's not like... He's Hell he takes no. that, that dumb ball jokes real serious. He don't play with that, bro. Like, 
Oh man. Okay. Um, let's talk about some games. Talk about uh this Halo technical beta, Halo Flight, yes, sir. Uh, Halo multiplayer, mm-hmm. whatever you know exactly. Uh, you want to go by this technical uh, preview. Um, so I, as y'all know, I was you know really busy this week. I was moving and all that stuff. So I got invited to it, but I didn't get to play it at all. Um, the the multiplayer was only against bots, right? Correct. Um, yes. Okay. Uh, you could still like party up with other people, but it was bots yes. you were playing. You were playing yes. up against. Uh, mm-hmm. So you know, let's let's go to K Mega because you know, aside from the gameplay, uh, the video, the gameplay videos I've seen, um, I don't you know, know anything. I don't know anything about uh, you know how the beta was. So yeah, tell us everything about it. What you like? What you didn't like? What felt different? You know, give us the rundown. Um, well, I mean, the one thing that you notice is the speed. Uh, and for people out here who has a, who's had a problem with uh, like with Halo Five, uh, because some people think that it's just too uh, pro, uh, you know, because because of the the boost abilities and then the way that your health drops and things like that. The one thing that you notice that you still have the run, you still could do the clamor. I think the last time that I was on here, we talked about that. And, you know, the one thing that I was afraid of was that they would, because there were so many people that didn't like uh, that aspect of it, that they would take it away, but they kept it in from what they had in Halo 5. And then they took away the abilities uh, from whether it was the ground pound and the uh, shoulder charge uh, and then the boosters. Uh, but it's it's really cool because like for people that don't really still like the the running aspect of it, it has a really fast power walk. So like they kind of jog. So it's so the game is really fast. It's fluid. Um, the bots. The really crazy thing about the bots is that when you first start off with uh, Friday night, it they were light. You know everybody was kicking kicking ass and everything. And then uh, again Saturday, they added in the ODST bots. And then today, at some point, or maybe later on this evening, that they're going to be adding on the Spartan bots. So you can tell that they are a lot more tougher and they and they are adjusting. So I, I don't know. I'm thinking that they're using maybe some kind of uh, machine learning technology yeah, with it. Yeah, cheating, dog. And, and, well, listen, this is the crazy thing about it is that uh, this is reminding me more of like the driver tars in Forza. And I think that that's where they're getting this data is to try to see how many, you know, for all the players that's out there playing it, that they're getting, that these bots is getting adjusted to how how everybody else plays. Because there was one situation that they was playing and the bot, I, I had the, the upper hand on the bot and the bot just ran off like a human being would do. And then, so I'm chasing him and like, this is crazy. And then next thing you know, he gets with it with, a, with the rest of the pack and then I get killed. So that that's something that's definitely not normal with any type of regular just bot or AI that just do some crazy things and they adjust. You see them, and I've seen and I've seen people post it, but I seen it for the very first time last night too, where they uh, they'll they'll actually teabag you once yes. they kill you and they take your yep. weapon. So it's it's really it's really really cool. Um, just for it already being like a beta, and it's had some issues. You know, the sound will go in and out, but when everything is working properly. It's definitely going to, this game is going to be fantastic. It, it's got the best of both worlds. It's kind of like the montage of just everybody who loves the old Halo and even with Halo 5, uh, that it, everybody can be satisfied with it. Because if you go in also into looking the, um, uh, in the settings, they also have things where there, there's thrusters. So that kind of gives me the indication that later on, like with the battle pass system that they're going to have, that they might have some Halo 5 uh things in there on top of with the grappling hook, which is really cool because you can use it to grab enemies and you can go into them and you can uh, give them an elbow. And it it's really it's really cool. It's fluid. And also, if you put it in quality mode, because it already starts off in performance mode, because I also played it on my PC um, and, and on the uh, Series X, uh, there is definitely a big difference when you go to quality mode. And graphically, it, it looks even more stunning. And you can see the ray tracing through the water uh the, the effect, ray tracing effects through the water all of that it's it's going to be amazing a lot of people is 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 clamoring about it because it also gives those people that feeling that the old halo is back but it still has that new that new feel uh, or that same feel of what halo 5 gave you which is the speed and mobility and 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 that you can't ask for uh nothing better in my opinion okay okay uh smooth your thoughts yeah it's Halo, baby. 
it's Halo. Um, mm-hmm. but in terms of like uh, the games, yeah, uh, I thought there there was a couple. There's there. You guys hear me? Yeah, we hear you. What's up? Yeah, no, was, there's a couple things that changed. Like I noticed, like because I'm like my favorite Halo multiplayer has been Halo Five, so I went into this trying to play. Oh, all right, I already know how to do this. I'm not like, and there's things that aren't no. quite available. Like so, for example, um, you you and I think in Halo you you meleeed with the bumper. In Halo 5, you melee with the bumper. I tried doing that, and I was like, oh, shit, they moved it to the thumbstick because I accidentally, you know, meleeed and whatnot. And now... I'm going to try to bump- come to Calvary. I think, BG, I'm you're, gonna- mute. you're not muted. <laughs> um, the right bumper now is to use, like, the pickups. And um, as K-Mega alluded to earlier, um, the freaking... The, the damn freaking... What you call it? Hook grappling hook is a is a pick in multiplayer it's a pickup item and in the campaign I believe is gonna be a part of your arsenal, but in multiplayer is a pickup item and I believe and K make it correct me if I'm wrong. When you pick up the grappling hook, it's like four uses before it's done, right? Or like, right, right. Uh, yeah, well they, it was three Friday night and then they increased it to five. So you, you can tell that they're tweaking and there's yeah. good people that's been talking to them. Yeah, so yeah, that's true. And you can also in the settings change. Uh, that because I was having the same problem too because I was I was like damn the the melee is the is the, yeah. is the right bumper and then but you can also go through the settings and change everything as well yeah so, you can bring oh, it God. you can bring it to Halo Five mm-hmm. controls and I think that's under like legacy but the problem when I did that is like all right well I need to get used to how they're gonna add these you know these add ons and mm-hmm. so because I remember when Halo Five first came out I was like I was so used to Halo Three controls so I, I reverted to Halo Three and I was like well it was harder to learn the new additions in Halo 5, so I had to, I, I just went back to the Halo 5 controls, and I ended up learning that to a T to the point, I was like, alright, I'm really comfortable with this, so I went back to the Halo 5 controls here, and I was like, alright, well, I want to be able to use those abilities, like, naturally, and how they attended, and if you play how they intended to the controls work, it does work out, and so I've been getting, uh, getting, been getting used to it. Now, I never played the game in quality mode, I've only been playing, I guess, in um, performance mode, in, in my, you know, monitor, and it's set to 120, so you know I was hitting that um uh the playing at the 120 on the the Series X, um but not you, you can still hit 120 in quality mode too. There was some people that because I only I only got a Q90R and so it it only runs 60. So it so that was in my monitor it uh it doesn't it only runs to 62. So uh, gotcha. but there was people that was in the party with us at that that had it to where they had 120 hertz and they could still put it in quality mode. So let me ask y'all, uh, is this faster? This look, watching it looks way faster than any previous Halo game. It does. I like that though. It, 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 it actually looks, it actually it looks weird because it's not a PC um, POV. Mm-hmm. You don't really see that much. And, and like I seen this dude shooting what looks to be the Magnum. And he was shooting it like hella fast, like it was like almost like an automatic. So it looks yeah, like- yeah, you put you yeah the, the with the uh, it, everything feels 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 just tight. All the controls are already there. That's the one thing about it that you notice right off the bat when you play it. It's that everything, um, even with a few hitches, it's like I said, the sound is the is the biggest thing that's been the the biggest problem. And and I've had a few people had a, a couple of issues with lag, uh, but but the controls are so tight and precise. You could tap that, you could tap that trigger and that thing is going to just rip. And even though the pistol is not as good as the Halo 5 pistol. <laughs> I uh, disagree. I love this pistol. <laughs> yeah, but I but I but no, but I love the pistol. I mean, I I I think it's it's a good compliment like so like with Halo 5, you can kind of run through and use the pistol and, mm-hmm. and, and kind of take your enemies out. Here, the way that the bots, the way that the bots maneuver and sway, you can still tag them and it takes around four bullets if you get a perfect kill, but uh, it's a good combo uh, asset to like if you want to just move over, mm-hmm. switch over to your uh, battle rifle. So mm-hmm. yeah, but it's the the, the 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 I know I like the pistol too though. Smooth, I do agree. Don't get me wrong with that. Also, K Mega question: What video card do you have now? I have a, a twenty seventy. Okay. Yes, I actually didn't know if you're still running that ten fifty T. Oh no 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 no! I've upgraded. Now. I've, I I got my uh I, I built my PC about almost three years ago, and then so I got me a a Ryzen seven twenty seven hundred X. Um, and uh, I got that. I got I got first I got a twenty sixty, but then 
uh, I haven't built a PC in a long time, and so I, I and so I messed up my motherboard. So I had got me another one, and then that's when I upgraded uh, to the twenty seventy. So. so is Xbox still your primary platform? Or absolutely, absolutely, yes. Okay. Yes, okay. Yes. 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 I'm still yeah. a console dude first. I have a, I have a question. Go ahead, Jack. Um, smooth. Right. There's rumors out that you have a, a negative KD against bots so far, sir. Can you? No, actually, no, 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 Are you, are you getting man. outplayed by bots? No, 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 no. So, right I, but, no. All right. So the bots. Are, all right. So I, I didn't get to play night one because it was like I got my um installation. Like I got my actual email. I got a proof for the email like that that one morning. But in terms of getting in when they went it live, I didn't get in. I just said I got tired of waiting, so I went to sleep. So the day I got in was when they upgraded to the ODS, um, ODST bots. And no, I've had a winning uh, a, a positive KD overall. But the problem is, it's like in my head, I'm like, wait, these are fucking bots. It wasn't registering me that I was playing against bots. I was like, it should I should be because people were po- posting up screenshots and, and videos like the other day of them going having these crazy ass KDAs. And I was like, oh, damn, this is I was like, I'm probably going to play this too long because it's just, you know, it's just bots. And, you know, how I mean. I'll wait until they do human, so I'll give it a try. But I'm like, these ain't and bots. I got to it's like these ain't no normal bots. Now my KD is a, a plus. I haven't, oh, gone, I haven't gone a negative KD with these games, but they were. I was having like games where I would like, I was like, yo, like uh, like five deaths. I, I would go like, you know, ten and five, fifteen and five. Like I was, I was expected to go against bots like twenty seven and two, but like, but these weren't no normal like fucking bots and man things are smart but just give you guys a heads up they're not like it's not intended like what they're doing they're easing easing people into um pvp dude they, so the bots so isn't there go ahead my bad I, I just don't know if i can go by your word smooth that these bots are challenging i feel like i need somebody else to confirm that these bots are actually challenging confirm it right now these bots aren't right. good. These bots aren't as good as a dark sim. I'll tell you that. Uh, well, then you gotta I, go to- I, I don't know. You, you gotta I listen. You gotta try and listen. When you go to the ODST bots, the regular bots, they're tricky, you know. But the ODST bots are, are messy because they throw grenades perfect. Like they can bank okay. them off. Yeah, they can bank them off of uh, certain things. And, and I've had and I've had a couple of matches because I've been playing until six o'clock in the morning both uh for both days and so i so you know i've i've had a couple of times where i've had some negative kd i would went five and eight one time oh, the yeah. worst one was um th- but i had like 12 assists so it's just kind of like you know but then the uh, the worst one was when i went i think it was like seven and 12 and then it was but i had like again what another the- nine what you call it but then for the most part but i have not lost to the bots uh overall and then you know i've been mostly averaging around 10 to 20 uh with anywhere between 10 to 20 kills uh when i when i had my best is i think the best match i've had it was like right. 21 and 4 so, something like i got that. a question i got i got it, a question i got another question it definitely so it's varied. more like you're playing against like almost ai from the from the campaign no you know? no i got a question for no 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 it's no, not no like, it's, okay it's, oh, go ahead jack okay. no 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 I mean, this is my question which y'all getting out play severely by these bots like this how you think you're gonna fur against the actual human I'll beat a human's ass. No, no, no. Judging by what y'all say, y'all gonna get y'all shit. Right, nah, What's they, going no, on? No, that's what I'm talking Listen, I play, I play I, I'm, I'm a level one. I'm, a, I'm 146 uh, on Halo 5. And listen, I, I can I can put in work. There's matches where I've had 35 kills. You know, so it's not, you know, like I said, you can just check my streams if you don't believe me. But it's, it's a, just the, they play so efficient, so well. They play like you're playing against actual human AI. It's not, I mean, or or humans. It like I said, the 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 and it's and if they do a lot of other different things in the game that you know I could definitely talk about. But I was just thinking the one craziest moment was the time where the guy where the uh, bot just ran. You know, it was it was being outplayed, outmaneuvered, and then it's swaying around and doing the same thing that a human player would do. And then once it seen that it was it, maybe it ran out of bullets, I don't know, but it ran away like a regular person would do. Uh. And then it, it it led me into a, a pack to the rest of his team. So that to me is and that's something that would like you you would play against somebody that uh is is playing online with a crew. So it's 
So yeah, they're very, very, they're, they're not lightly or played. Like if anything, if you want to try to compare it to anything that the computer has done in the past with Halo, then it's like you're playing it on max, uh, on, on the max highest difficulty. Okay. You know, not yeah. So that so you got to think of it like that. If it's it's it, but they're but they're smart. They they don't just just look dumb or just run around and 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 just take bullets. They actually try to avoid uh, getting hit. It it is it is it. You just got to play it to experience it. Man. I guess it's because it, it like it, I don't think we've ever experienced like good bots in any video. Yes, game. we have. Right, right. right. Like, which, what, what game? Perfect dark. Dark sim shoots with a hundred percent accuracy. Oh, teleports well. across. No, there's no bot that is stronger than a dark sim in any first person shooter that I know of. Dark mm. sim is straight godly. Well, we'll go ahead and try to. Well, because we haven't even played the Spartans yet. That's what I'm saying. Like it's, and then also they get in, they get enhancements. Like this is other things that that the game evolves. Okay, because at first, uh, in Kids Move, I know that you know this for sure. What on the first map that they that they introduced everybody to play on, you go through, and then they, they all the bots run to the left side, okay. And then everybody will start slaughtering them. Well, then they adjust. There's been times where the bots will still come from the left, but then they'll all uh, uh, hit themselves with overshields. Once mm -hmm. you go to the ODS bots, and then they're slaughtering you because they already know that you're going to come out there and overwhelm them, but they already have, they all have overshields. And then there's been some cases, because like I've, I've, been, I've played, I know I've played hundreds of games since, I, since it's been out, and that they will actually have uh, bots that will flank you. Like there will be like two bots that will come, and then next thing you know, there'll be, there'll be a bot that'll come from one area in the middle, and then there'll be another one that'll come from the back side. I've seen that even happen before. So it's this thing evolves the more and more that you play it. And like I said, I've never seen a I've never seen just regular AI act like that. It's almost what, reminds me of like I said, the driver tars in Forza Horizon. What do y'all think about uh, the lack of uh, assassinations? Even though they said they're going to add them later, it, that's a bummer. But again, um, a lot of people complained within like in, like in other Halos, uh, especially with Halo Five, that it's that animation takes too long and it kind of takes people out of the uh like when somebody is over there already sitting there waiting for you to get an assa get assassinated or you do the assassinate they could just go ahead and kill you and then yeah. let's say that somebody's yeah, gonna kill you anyway right? yeah, yeah i yeah, never yeah, liked so. assassin assassinations for that reason just hit him in the back kill him that whole yeah. animation leaves you vulnerable yeah so what they said is that what they're going to do is um is is that they're going to try to find the right balance and so what what that kind of tells me in in two different ways is that one is that they're going to make it probably quicker and then also they're going to do kind of like with gears they're going to implement them into their battle pass system and then they'll just you know sell them for you know microtransactions cuz you'll get a whole variety of them but but for the regular ones that you'll probably get they'll probably be really quick and 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 try to maybe uh, you maybe have a situation where they you can't kill them if the animation is going on, but I think that they're going to be a lot quicker than what they have been here uh, recently. Okay, that'd so, be lame if you couldn't kill them during like you're an assassination. But I shoot you with a rocket, but because you're doing it, you can't. Be, that'd be lame. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So like, they're, they're, that's the one thing that they were saying is that there's a balance. I don't know which balance they'll take, but um, you know, from just from me thinking is that look, they'll they'll probably be really quick or they'll do that to where if the animation is going, that they'll be invincible for that short period of time. And if, you know, and some people ain't going to like it, but I don't know. We'll see how they'll balance it out. But I'm not really, I'm, it's a bummer that we didn't get a chance to do it, but as long as they get it right, they said that they're coming. So that's all that matters. So, so smooth. Um, so this is a game, you know, that mm -hmm. we, you know, the whole community is going to be playing. Like it's, mm -hmm. you know, I'm excited looking at, looking at the gameplay, right? And it's free to play. Everybody's going to be playing it. The whole community, you know, partied up, playing against each other and everything like that. How confident are you that you won't be bottom of the leaderboard every time? Me? Yeah, you. I know for sure I'm not going to be at the bottom. Man, come on, man. Stop doing that. Don't do that, BG. He, like, I'm, <laughs> don't do what? He, 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 like, I'm candy, dog. Like, this is... I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to be at the bottom of the leaderboard. I'm really like, I'm going to be like, you know what I mean? I'm not going to sit there and be like, I'm going to be at the top, but I might be, I might be middle of the pack. I might be, you know, like the second or third, but I'm not going to be at the bottom. Hold on, the best buy is going to be at the middle of the pack? What the It fuck? depends on who I'm picking with. 
What you aiming for, Smooth? That ain't what you aim for when no, you call hey, you. Hey, you know what I mean? I won't be surprised if I'm at the top. I mean, I, I've done my you fair share do of you, do to... you do Planet Xbox with fucking green lingerie on, but you talking about you aiming to be middle of the pack. What the fuck? No, I didn't say I was aiming to be. I said hey, I, 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 I expect. Like, here's the thing. I know for sure I won't be at the bottom. That's that's just not happening. They're Tell like, me, at the top, smooth. Talk to these men. Talk to these people. Uh, hey man, the, the, the smooth. Just come join me in the crew. You, we'll, we'll we'll take care of you, man. We are gonna make sure that you. Oh uh, look, hey, they make sense. With me playing, you definitely ain't gonna be at the bottom. Fuck them. Yeah, 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 <laughs> no, I'm, not, I'm not gonna be at the bottom. I'm, not, I'm just saying we gonna be. We, I'm saying if he's at the bottom, he's still gonna be, you know, double digit and kill. So he gonna be all right. That's what I'm hey, saying. Man. That's what I'm saying. We can just. I'll tell you right now. I would never play Halo BG. What BG I? would have me tearing my tearing my hair out. <laughs> what you do? don't you don't play any team game. Uh, that's not true. If you can't coordinate, you can't play Halo. I'm not, I would never play Halo. I I am I play point, bro. That's my role in every game. I'm on point. BG not definitely not a good team player. He's exactly. a good player, but, he, but teamwork, nah. BG in Halo, you need two people. Two people normally always beat one person. Another thing is, I disagree with you when you said this whole community will be playing this game. That, that's dependent on when Battlefield drops. Mm. They both are going to. They're both going to rake. And you, that, you forget oh, about the fact about PC. A lot, but yeah, PC and a free to play. That's what's the difference here. If it was just the old traditional way of like, hey, you know, you got to buy Halo or whatever. There's just too many other factors that where people are that that, that Halo might av- actually uh, there'll be more people playing Halo than Battlefield. Even though I'm going to be that. all over both of them, it's because of the free to play. Uh, that could happen. It's, it's also on PC and Game Pass, so you got to think of all that to be included. I'm, I'm just saying between Halo, Battlefield, and COD, that it's impossible for everybody to play one of these I, games. It's going to be oh, split. I'm playing them both. I'm I'm no life, and there's no more single. I'm, that's why I'm trying to get through all my single player games that I can right now. Because once we get to that, then you get also got Back for Blood. So all three of those games, and then Four to Five. So it's Back for Blood's dead or dead on arrival. Yeah, you know, uh, yeah, I, I don't I'm gonna know. be all I over Back so. for Blood. I think Back for Blood's we, gonna do well. We gonna get to and that though. Okay, pass. Okay, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we gonna get up. to that. Um, bro, I was, I don't really see. P- I mean, it sounds crazy. Like, yeah, Call of Duty is still gonna be like probably the best selling game this year, even though we still see no be. gameplay, even with the Activision scandal. Um, but I, you know, I don't really see, I see like Halo and both battlefields still being more played than, than the next Call of Duty. At least no, around here. Call of Duty, Call of Duty's going to be most played. On YouTube, maybe, but overall, we know Call of Duty's not going to be yeah. yeah. Um, oh, so the, through the, um, the beta, the Halo beta, the campaign files also leaked. So, you know, you Great. might want to go mute some words on Twitter. Um, yeah. <laughs> what? Beautiful. What do you mean? This is great. This is, this is great. This happened. Because these same fuck boys, smooth included, I remember when The Last of Us spoilers leaked and I was trying to avoid them and people were sending like pictures of Mario Golf saying out of context, Last of Us spoilers. I literally predicted what happened off a picture of fucking Mario Golf, bro. Like people ain't stupid, bro. Uh, and smooth, smooth was like, I, I can't believe this is the game you guys are crying for, and I'm not gonna spoil it. But if I was to spoil, he was he was hitting and spoiling <laughs> the fucking game. So anything by way of Halo spoilers that come out, I welcome it. I'm not gonna retweet it personally, but y'all get what y'all dish out, man. Oh, y'all y'all dickheads was spoiling on. the game. It was PC. It was PlayStation. Yeah, yeah that, that's what the said too. Came did it. Yeah, it was no, J Tech and them, they were show look, I got no, this. I seen all that stuff. Like when I first seen it, I said, Oh, this is this is messed up. I, Cause I even made a video talking about, like I said, listen, I'm I, and I'm not the, the biggest fan of the, the Last of Us. I just can't get into the game like Did you that. Leak some think, spoilers? Do you leak some spoilers? No, hell no. I've never been like all that. Right. That's that's disrespectful. No, I wouldn't I wouldn't dare do that to, to play to the community. I didn't leak any of See, I didn't see that from it was not, He was humor. I didn't even, the crazy thing is I haven't even watched any of them. Actually, Jimmy <laughs> leaked me, uh, sent me the stuff. I just didn't watch it. You was laughing and shit on the podcast. I remember that. You, I was smooth, you did. You did. This is the The irrelevant files has determined that was a lie. Facts. Oh, I didn't, but I also, didn't like, you know, and even when I seen uh, Xbox gamers go out there and was trying to leak it out, I, you know, I, I, I condemn that. Like, come on, man. Cause, like, cause the same, like, I, nobody was expecting, like, to hear anything about Halo, but it was the same thing. Like, look, 
you never know what could happen because a big game could be coming from Xbox and people could do the same thing. And sure enough, you know, we've got people that's out there doing it, man. It, it's 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 wrong either way. Um, you know, uh, it's unfortunate yeah. on both ways. I mean, but it was but where I was getting most of the information from about the leaks was from PlayStation fans that's because the, they were so know, upset about the situation. No, that's true. That's true. Yeah, I didn't see no, no PlayStation stands. Leaking. Oh, I saw all types of play PS stands. Uh, this is what I was trying to. The yeah. the people that you guys think hate The Last of Us two more than anybody. It's not Nintendo and Xbox fanboys. It's The Last of Us Part One fans more than anything. Nah, I don't know. It if I is. Buy that one. I don't know if I buy that. They one. were the ones making the most noise, talking about I love The Last of Us yeah, Part One. I'm going to boycott this game. I'm not lying. The ones so. going out of their way to spoil the game. The Xbox fans. Yeah. Man. No, I, I would still say that's Part One fans. Yeah. Bro, I got wow. spoiled so many times on that game, bro. People come to my my, you know, people don't even place comments on YouTube channels no more. Dudes put putting comments on my channel, sending right. me PSN message, like, bro, it's just sick nah, shit, but yeah, they but were they, no, it was definitely PlayStation dudes doing that, Jack, because they're the ones that are like Ooh. so so pat. No, listen, they're the ones that were so passionate about their their uh, you know, their daddy dying. You know, <laughs> nah, <laughs> the, the point is, they the weren't the ones spreading the leaks. Uh, okay. That's the point they, they're making. Okay, uh, I I feel like because they were so upset about it, they you know they were the ones mainly talking about yeah, it because, because they got happy. spoiled and everything. I don't, I don't know I don't, about that one, yo. No, no, no. He's telling no, no, no. BG telling the truth. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So like, no. This is the thing right here. Is the, I, I don't really know necessarily block too many people, and so I, I get all types of you know crazy tweets all the time. And so I remember I was posted something, and there was a PlayStation fan that post they sent to me the the video of the leaks wasn't an xbox dude and then of course by that time when people when, that, when, when some of the xbox stands went out there and got a hold of it then of course then there was there was slander but no it was the playstation community that the was dude going, who that sent it to wild. me the dude who sent it to me even though i don't mind spoilers the dude who sent it to me was a playstation guy um he yeah. wasn't mad about it but he was you know he was just, just spreading it just to spread it mm -hmm. but no and and the thing is like he was doing it maliciously, right? Because when he sent it to people, he was like, oh, he, he put he put a text saying what happened, and but but to you know he thinking like, oh, I'm BG gonna be so, bothered. I don't care about. So you mean to tell me for the first time in the history of any game and uh, uh, an exclusive story leaked by the fans? Of the, I don't know if I buy that. It was definitely I'm, sure, I'm, sure, I'm sure it was some. Yeah. I'm sure it was some. Yeah. That was curious yeah. I'm looking on Twitter right now. Post up damage controlling it. And people are telling them typical spin move narrative. Everybody knows it was the bots that were having fun spreading the leaks, posting was, the memes, me. ambushing the twitters, yeah, and everything. It was, it was right. Yeah, no. it was an Xbox I'm not, I'm not saying there weren't. Yeah. I'm not saying there weren't any Xbox and That's Nintendo right. fans. They weren't bro. talking about this, but the large majority of the outcry, the large majority of the spoilers and talk around that. this game came it's, from Part One yeah. fans. Yeah, right. it's burned. It's, it's 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 oh, Last of Us yeah. fans who feel like they were burned by Neil Druckmann because he killed their surrogate daddy. That's what it was, you know. Like, let's right. keep it real. That's what it was. Yeah, good. Yeah, that's that's yeah. that's what's up. Yeah, you gotta keep it one hundred with that. It was that. I mean, if this is looking at it from this this standpoint, and even though I think it's like it's disgusting to for any anybody to do the leaks, but if let's say that that. Chief died. I don't know what the leaks are, but let's just say Chief died at the end of this game. I think it would be it would be a buttload of Xbox uh, or Chief fans that would leak it out because they would hate what three four three is doing, and they would demand three four three be. Yeah, I, I, was about, I was about to ask that. Right. So, yeah. the, the rumor right now is worse than death. Hey, listen. Hey, though, hey, we ain't gonna right. get into it. We not. If, gonna get if into the it. leak, if the leaks was to come out though, and was going mm -hmm. wild in the community. Xbox fans is not finna blame other Xbox fans for it. You know that, right? They gonna say, damn, why do you, why do you, smooth, why do you, pony doing smooth, this, damn, why do you, come no on, better man. than that. Listen, come the on, most complaint, listen, the most, uh, the, the, the biggest complainers in, in the, in, in, in the whole gaming streets are Xbox uh, gamers because they're all over the place. At least you got to say with PlayStation, with the PlayStation community, they may talk behind the scenes, but they're all unison. I, I swear, like you guys get behind in some kind of some kind of meeting or something and start talking about, OK, like, look, we don't like this shit. We think that this is ridiculous, but you know what? We can't let this be public. So we're just going to keep this between ourselves. Uh, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of the biggest there's a lot complainers were PlayStation Xbox fans. fans. Yeah. yeah, Xbox. There's no, a lot the big, of there's the a biggest lot of, complainers by far PlayStation fans. 
Followed by uh, PC about Xbox, fans. yes, but not about PlayStation. I, I just don't see it that much like that. It's always unison. It's all everything great. You you know where have you been, K Mega? These these people have been lying, Ryan. Games coming to PC. Oh no, these I've PlayStation seen that. guys have been complaining about place uh, well, games I've, getting I've, I've delayed. Seen that. But then it's still, but still, it's that's different. That's a little that's different, different. But I'm talking, yeah, it's a little different. I mean, but the most complaining that I've been hearing is from is from Xbox fans overall. It's from my opinion. I don't know. What are they, no. what what are they complaining not. about, Kamega? Oh, you know the whole thing about the you know they listen to a lot of these these uh, PlayStation podcasts and things like that where they talk about the games is lacking. Where's the AAA bangers? Where's this? Where's that? But uh, that's you know PlayStation guys talking. What are the Xbox guys? That's Xbox about? gamers that say the same you're saying, thing. You saying they're buying into it? So hold yeah, on. So Xbox it, guys yeah. are complaining about lack of because tri- yeah. I've been hearing that they're fine no, with it. They're okay they're, with game. They're pass. complaining about PlayStation dudes saying that they don't have no games. That's what. So oh, that's yeah. not complaining about so, Xbox. Then. Hey, Mega, I think the Xbox fan base is more in unison than any other fan base exactly. out there, honestly. You think uh, so? Well, I hope oh, so. Because yes. I've seen a lot of big, a lot of crying, and I'm just kind of like, man, look, Xbox is going to be I Stop tripping. Most, I mean, like, there's, Xbox, there's, I mean, always, there's always <sighs> infighting with Nintendo fans, X, uh, PlayStation fans. It now, depends. that's something I don't oh, ever see is infighting right. with Nintendo Xbox fans. Xbox fans have been comfortable with whatever Microsoft gives them. Yeah, that's, and PlayStation okay. fans gonna be comfortable this fall. Well, this, this no, is the struggle. Been this is the struggle Olympics right now. <laughs> but but yeah, uh, pretty much. Yeah, just need to uh, you know move on to the next thing. Uh, so talk about some sales and uh, NPDs. So um, <clears throat> PlayStation reached a 10 million unit sold milestone. Uh, so that's good. It's the fastest selling PlayStation, and the Xbox Series S and X are also. The uh, fastest selling Xbox, I think the estimate said that it's around 6.5 million. Um, and both are, you know, the fastest, you know, the, they're both the fastest selling consoles ever in their, uh, you know, in their, in their brand. Um, Death Stranding sold uh, 5 million in a year and some change. Miles Morales sold 6.5 million since launch. Returnal has sold uh, 560K since launch. MLB The Show has sold 2 million, and Ratchet and Clank A Rift Apart has sold 1.1 million. Um, I want to start out, you know, listen, I don't want to talk about it too long. You know, I've, I've I've stomped on this game for years. I know people tired of hearing about it. Uh, you know, Death Stranding selling 5 million in a year and some change. Listen, I, all I'm saying is... I That's just across tried... all platforms it's on, right? <clears throat> PC and, and PS5, yeah. Um, yeah and PS, PS4. Um all I'm saying is, and, and somebody said it, somebody said it best. Kojima's name doesn't match his sales. And that's, that's my problem. Y'all say this man is the greatest developer ever. You know, he could cure cancer and all this other wild shit. But when it comes to buying his games, like this, this was, this was a man when, when people found out that Konami like did him, well, people believe that Konami did him dirty. Like, the whole industry rose up against Konami and hated this man, but his game is only selling $5 million? I'm like, all right, there's, there's a they, disconnect. They gave, him a, they gave him a whole moment of silence at the Game Awards. Yeah, like, he yeah. died or some shit. Yeah. And, it, and his game come out, and it only sells $5 million a year and some change? That's you like, he, he's a little boosty at the gaming community? He's, oh, man. You remember when Chris Brown, like, Chris Brown, like, I forgot, like, somebody pointed out that Chris Brown had, like, a crazy amount of followers on Twitter and Instagram. Like, million, like... Millions and millions, right? But his album was selling like uh, one of his albums only sold like ten thousand or some shit. I'm like, what? Well, there's a disconnect. This is that's the same thing with Kojima. Why is his name not matching his sales? That's all I'm gonna say. And, let, uh, let me. Oh god. No, that's it. That's all my. my I, want, I wanted to ask realistically, what what were you guys <laughs> expecting Death Stranding to sell? Because I don't think five million is a flop for a game like that. See, five five million. No, see. Five million for that type of game is not a flop. Five million coming from Kojima. That's my thing. Because of how people talk about him and how people hype him up. If any other person would have made Death Stranding, I would have been like, that, that's fine. But like, depending on who makes the game does matter. Especially when the uh, industry... I, I don't it, know. It absolutely, it absolutely matters. Uh, it does. Especially when the... You know, when, you know, when, you know, when, when, know. It's like I said last week. Superstars are supposed to get the superstar treatment. Yes. 
When bums off the bench don't perform, nobody cares. When LeBron don't score points, is he hurt? What happened? Wait, wait. Then what are what are Kojima's other game sales? Because Zone of the Enders is not selling. Boktai, whatever it was on the Game Boy DS, was not selling. Snatcher, I doubt did that much. It's probably Metal Gear is probably his only yeah, successful yeah. game. Yeah, and that's what I said. Kojima's a one trick pony. Well, I, listen, I don't. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I I agree with Bond on this. Um, but it's listen. Um, Days Gone is a good game, and that's it sold what? No, no, no. Oh, I'm talking oh, about Days okay. Gone. Okay. Days Gone. Uh, da- Days Gone. No, no, I like Days Gone. I thought Days Gone was a good game. I, I I double dipped it. I bought it on the PlayStation and I bought it on PC. So I don't know the sales. I don't know. Uh it, what was it like five five to eight or something like that? Some, but what's the point that I'm that. Yeah, but the point I'm trying to make is that PlayStation uh kicked that game to the curb, said no, no sequel. So what are they gonna do with this game since it's sold no. five? Well, if you think about it, right? So it's not, yeah. I think what people are realizing, like, it sold five now after its PC release. So what were its sales before they put that thing on PC? It was that, like, that, under, PlayStation it was under was 2 silent. million. They were yeah. silent on that game. They didn't give exactly. it uh, that whole herky-jerk it, announcement. It didn't do this in three days. Right. They said it, it broke it even landed. or something like that. And I think that well, was I mean, you see number also- eight on the NPD, and that was like <laughs> it, the, the month that it came out. So... Just so, so I think that's the thing. So, like, the five million is just the, the totality between PlayStation release is PC release. How much of that is on PC? And, and the, the time that it took to get to five million, when, like I said, they're used to some games hitting damn near three million in three days. Like, I mean, yeah, no, I, that's the thing too for me is that it, that's what Bond was saying that I that, and NBG is that I agree with is that look, he's. He's labeled as a rock star. He, you know, they gave him the moon of silence. You know, every time you, you watch the VGAs, there's always a Kojima sighting. And listen, I, it is what it is. Um, I like some of Kojima's work too. But once he came and he made that point about like, oh, well, you know, the West doesn't really understand about the games because they're all about the shooters and things like that. That yeah. that's that's a disconnect. <laughs> you cannot, you can't do that. You can't say those things. And then after you looking at the director's cut. What did they implement and start adding into that game? The pew pews. So uh, you know they even even gave you a exactly. uh, a, tr- a training room so you could start start using those those guns. So again, it's like I, you know for five million for that particular game, I think that that's solid. But again, it, it's Kojima's supposed to be a rock star. That should already been you know and already, and people have to game. remember. People have to remember, look at how Sony treated this man when he got out of, it, it was like, you know, it literally was like he got out of jail and Sony like set this man up with a new crib. They got him some bitches like, oh, you know, like, okay, you want a tour of all our studios? You want, you want to look at all our engines? You want to, they literally laid out the red carpet for this man. Like he got, just got out the, got out the pen. Right? No, like, they who, literally rescued him from a POW camp. That's what. That's it felt what I'm like. saying. Like they, they, they was holding this man's meat when he peed, and like who else gets this, this other type of who, who else in the industry would get this type of treatment? There's maybe like two other people. Maybe I can't. I don't even know who they are. And so this is the man y'all laying down y'all life for, and the, the game said sells five million a year and some change. Come on, man. Come on, man. Uh, I don't know. Because it's like it, it kind of reminds me of like Metroid Prime in a way, like how everybody's always screaming and like attacking Retro Studios for where's Metroid Prime? I get this game a no Metroid out of ten, and then the game comes out and sells like one to two million. Yeah, fake love, man. Well, here's yeah, also so. here's also a thing, right? A bitch make you wait five years for the first day. You might not be excited when you finally get to see it. People don't care about Retro Studios anymore. I'm sorry. Like at this point, the next Metroid Prime is in real danger because. We haven't seen it in so long. Retro. When's the last time Retro Studios put out a game? 2014. Wait, yeah, yeah. They 2014. haven't put out. They haven't even announced a new game in seven years. Metroid Prime we, Four. No, they took over a project. They have not announced yeah, a new game first. in seven years. Mm-hmm. They were not making Metroid Prime Four. They just took over that project, and that's pretty damn crazy that they have not come. The their last game was Tropical Damage Control. That's mm-hmm. crazy. Um, and, uh, so I want to move on to Returnal, which sold 560 K. So my thoughts on, on Returnal selling that much. So I think it should have sold more. I think it underperformed a bit. Um, even for the type of game it is, see, I I think it made a profit because this is a game that's, that's literally just like five or six levels and it's procedurally generated. This is, you know, so I'm sure they saved 
money by actually doing that, I, I would assume, right? It's, it's five levels procedurally generated, you know, it's, uh, and it's like, it's, it's really a short game, you know, once you get past the difficulty. So based on that, I think they made a profit, but 560K, I still don't think uh, that's necessarily in, in, impressive either. I think like 750 or 800, I would have been like, oh, that, that's good. It's, uh, no, it, no, it's not. Not for no, no, PlayStation yeah, exclusive. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to say this too, though, right? It's a reason Sony came out numerous of times and said this game was quote unquote a mega hit, and then you see shit like Death Stranding underperformed, right? You got the, I call it damage control, call it what you may will, right? But we cannot ignore like BG. First of all, they used to make games that was nineteen ninety nine, right? They was getting sixty nine ninety nine a pop for this fucking game, right? So. I feel like this game was profitable. And they bought the fucking studio after that. So I feel like this game was profitable. Um, did it underperform? I don't fucking know. But at that price point, I don't think they could have failed with this shit. The problem with the game also, let's be real, Returnal looks like a like it should have been a $50 game, not a $70 game. That's what I'm that. saying, though. Yeah. That's, what, that's what I'm saying, though. This game could have, you know, they probably were developing this shit to be $30, $40. And they was like, we finna charge 70 for this bitch. Fuck it. Like, this is yeah. the first party. We're going to... Treat this like a first party joint. So you yeah, got didn't they didn't they say that they didn't even know it was gonna be seventy dollars until PlayStation they, told them or something? Did. Yeah, they did. Mm -hmm. They did. Yep. Damn. Damn. PlayStation gave. <laughs> wow. But think, but think, but think. You, you every game you sell, you making an extra thirty or forty dollars. You didn't even expect to have though. That should but have, I mean, I but just think about. But look at the the flip side of that. If the game was was forty fifty dollars. Just think about how many more sales more, that that more was. Sales. I mean, it, it probably, probably would have sold more. Yeah, probably. And, and that 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 looks better on the stat sheet when you have more sold than you do just for the little generated money that you got Optics. overall. Yeah. So I mean, listen, and especially the way Sony brags about their numbers, that that to me, like for instance, if like Xbox throws some numbers out there like that for a particular game, it's quick for you know the PlayStation stand to go out and say, oh, that game is so much trash. So again, I, listen, I don't care about the MPDs like that. It's great. It's it's wonderful. I'm glad that the people went out there and supported the game. It looks cool, but uh, again, it's it's also because so many people were so hyped about it and they talked about it. And I think the mm -hmm. reality is, is that once people out there went and bought that game and then they seen that it wasn't what they were thinking that it was going to be because of the the way the way that those roguelike games play. I think that a lot of people maybe got turned off overall. So, that's, that's my game of the year. Yeah, really? Yeah, I've heard people oh, say, absolutely. say that. Say that, yeah. say that. That game fun as hell. Well, the difference between 60 and... It sold 500, right? Like five, 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 six, so six, doing, yeah. doing the math, it's selling 500 at 70 brings in about the same money of it selling like 600 at, at 70. So mm. I still think it would have sold more had this game not... Like, look, if they want to price their mega big hits at 70, that's one thing, but Returnal is not a game with any legacy or any big backing by a reputable development studio or anything. Yeah. Homeless a Apartment Marquee or Homeless, whatever you want to call them. Oh, 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 oh. House Mark make good game. Right? They're, they're not like... What, what's their best-selling game? Probably... Probably Returnal. Yeah, yeah. Bro. <laughs> all, all their games historically flopped. They've said this multiple times in but interviews. They give away on PS Plus a lot of times. Oh, even the little indie game, the uh, yep. one with the, the well, Rezo they go, Gun. They go, they go download the game is probably Rezo not, Gun. Not Rezo Gun, the one after that, the one Alienation? I like so much. Uh, Alienation. Uh, no, I thought, did they make Next, next, Mach next Machina? Oh, next that, Machina. That game was a flop. They said it was. Yeah, wow, then, that game was dope. I really like that game. That's a good game. Matter yeah, that's a dope ass game. Matterfall, you know I've never heard of. And you know, like, their their games for me, their games blend together too much. Like I, I I still get their games confused. Like Dead Nation, Alien Nation, Next Machina. They all seem like the too much of the same game to where like when I'm visualizing in my head, I I can't picture like Alien Nation. I definitely know what that looks like. Next Machina, Matterfall. I don't know what the games look like in my head, and I'm pretty sure I played them. So, like, yeah, I think their games just blend yeah, together. Too much. Bigger and better things for baby. Yes, sir. Yeah, man, they, they'll, yeah. they'll do better. I think their, their style of game might change over what, whatever their next game is. I think that might happen. I hope, I hope not. Right. No, because um, Sony needs that. Sony needs mm -hmm. that diversity to start coming back like they like like what they used to do, in my opinion. The, they should really, still though? 
continue to make arcade arcade light games. I I do agree with that. They this game was a, a, a slight departure from what they usually do. I mean, they had a similar mm-hmm. gameplay, but like it was more. Uh, I guess you'll say still cinematic. arcade like, yeah. Yeah, it was still arcadey, but I feel like they added the story elements that kind of I don't yeah. know. I like what they did with it. Well, if you want something you know unique and different, there's always Destruction All Stars. Oh, that God. shit was <laughs> yeah. Well, that game was fucking horrible. You know? the, and 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 just to get this out the way, <laughs> they released an update for that game just this past week. Uh, they. <laughs> Who, for for like the ten people who are playing, the up the patch was uh, reduced amount the amount of ghost hits. Don't know what that is. Um, decreased cooldown for vehicle slams. New skins and cosmetics. Quick play playlist. New shop interface. Two reworked mayhem maps. Season one. It's these niggas got the nerve to have a season. Bruh, how does it playing. how does it feel to have to be a developer and and to be like creating content for five people like that shit must be like yeah <laughs> we bought we bought to impress the fuck out these five people like what oh my god that game's sick. uh is it that yeah. bad I don't know it looked it's, it's it looked bad. like it had some potential but I, I don't know I, I I didn't get a chance you, you know it, so. you know what it needed and people you know called me a fraghead for it guns if this game had guns <laughs> it i guarantee you it would not have flopped but everybody was like oh pinky you you need a gun you need a gun in every one of your games to enjoy it no but this game definitely needed some guns like it, it could have been Listen, twisted metal like yeah i was just gonna say why not make it like twisted metal go hit up david jaffe man go ahead let's do this let's do that man because that's that's, man, that's, that's what i need podcast. what else can't make it how the fuck do <laughs> Yeah, man, that's that's what we need, man. That's what we man, need man, is, 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 is Twisted Metal. That's what the play. Game. Listen, I got a PlayStation. I've owned a PlayStation ever since the PlayStation came out. I, you know what I'm saying? So again, Twisted Metal is one of the goats. You I, listen, they have to bring that back, man. Hit up David Jeff. They ain't going to because listen, it, it, they gonna need PlayStation. Not gonna do it. They they're gonna need another six. They gonna need another game in in that. Uh, genre to be successful and they're gonna see oh you know this genre is making a comeback Let, let's go ahead and fund twist the metal but playstation ain't they probably just, gonna they just, they just, take that chance that themselves didn't, didn't work. like oh, that would be crazy i just think it's because listen for every, for everybody out there that that was talking about xbox and how they 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 lack like single player experiences and things like that playstation is definitely lacking multiplayer experience absolutely and, and i've been if complaining you, for and if, years it, yeah and if you bring a twisted metal <laughs> You know, online. If you can even do it online only, you know, just do that, and then just kind of have like the way that the new system is with you know, like with battle passes, things like that. Man, I, it would break. I'm telling you. No, man. Yeah, they, 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 they did that in 2011. And the here's though. the difference with that, though. The online was awful. Sure, <laughs> you know what I'm so, that yeah. game was true. Like here's the, the difference that in that, uh, that great though. aspect, though, okay, Mega. Mm-hmm. Sony's first Sony single player games are among the best. Microsoft's multiplayers outside of a couple are average to below average. No, no, but no. that's that's the eye of the beholder, though. That's not that's not nah, you're not gonna that's say bleeding, bleeding edge because, crack I mean, you, okay. down state of decay. Come on now, no, state no, of the case, state, 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 state of decay still alive. Yeah. See if he's still alive. Hey, exactly, still alive. Well, well, Here's a still alive. Murdering everything these games right are, now. These games are everything. not like that top tier games. Murdering, oh, okay. murdering everything right now. Come on, man. Look, when you look at single player <laughs> games, sales, re- reception, quality, Sony's are at the top. Microsoft's multiplayer games do not I, compete. I don't see. I don't with see Disney doing anything game. with Sony other than with Spider Man. I mean, hell, uh, Sea of Thieves is doing stuff with with with, uh, with, with Sea of Thieves. Are you with, really uh, comparing uh, Sea of Thieves to Spider Man? Absolutely. There's more people. I, I, I get you. If you do a comparison, there's more people that's playing Sea of Thieves than they are Spider Man. I bet you Spider Man more made more money than Sea of Thieves. Let me ask you a question, though. Okay, man, I you would don't... beg to differ on that. I don't think they Especially would rather have making Avengers than uh, the shit they got now. <laughs> I mean... Well, say that again. Uh, I didn't hear what you said. What'd I you, say? you don't think they would have rather had a, a studio like Insomniac making Avengers instead of Square Enix? Look how that played out. They lost like seventy million dollars on that game. Well, I, big bucks. listen, that's a that's a Square Enix situation. I, I don't know, you know that that that's yeah, yeah but that's there, there, there. because now nobody's really going to care about if Spider Man is exclusive to uh to the Avengers. That's that's just something that it I guess the problem with. Yeah, that oh, yeah, by, oh yeah, Spider Man still ain't out on that game. And, and, Jesus and, and, Christ. And, and State of the K is still doing fantastic too. So, and remember, that game got a lot of, that game beat out God of War in an MPD since you guys care about those numbers like that. So, State of the K is going to be fine. State of the K? What game beat God of War? 
Wait, it wait, is. wait. Time out, time out. No, I, I, re- I remember it beat like a one at MPD or something. When yeah, it first one came out. MPD. That, 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 that had to be after. like, it okay. They won an MPD. Yes, it May did. Yeah, it did. May 2018, well, they won that MPD. And the Sea of mm-hmm. Thieves came second to Far Cry 5. Like, if, in it, that, if in it, Mar- it beat Mar- God of War, it must have been God, God of War. No, it didn't beat God of War because God of War came out in April and God of War was, I think, for like three days. It must have been out for three days or something. Regardless of whatever you try to say, there's people that still play on these multiple player games that that maybe bond or or jack move just don't you know don't care about but that is just like xbox is 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 the is the king when it comes to the mul- with the online oh, multiplayer they're not. bro they, they said they, that where, where, they said that state are. of decay 2 sold 170 000 units in its first week at retail that's fine that's fine but people are <laughs> still they're, they're, still raking. they're still raking they're still they're doing better they're, than they're, playstation they're, they're, Listen, right. I, I would, ar- no I would argue listen, even that. Listen, not count oh, yeah. uh, That's listen. like beating a kid with no legs in a race. That's not saying much. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You said stay in a K. So you said, according to your sources, stay in a K. Get him, uh, smooth. Get him. Put that work on. And it's first, first week at, week at first retail. First week at retail. That's more than Returnal did in his first week at retail. Yeah, yeah, he he's, he's comparing <laughs> that to Spider-Man and God of War, not Returnal. Uh, I'm, I'm just no, saying, no, 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 no. Game, I just said. I, no, no, no. I just brought up the point of just saying overall who's playing more. Yeah, are people playing more Spider Man or they're playing uh, Sea of Thieves more? And I'm more thinking more people yeah, playing Gears of War Five Flopbusters, but nobody finished it. That's not a that's not a metric for really anything. Oh, that's a perfect metric. I, no, I think it's not. It, it is. I, listen, hold on. I, I, all I'm just saying is this. Uh, and, 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 and listen, some of you guys agree that, listen, mm-hmm. PlayStation just needs to do better with their multiplayer games. The variety that they, that, that they used to have was top notch. It's not there anymore, and they need to get back to it. Xbox is working on that variety, which, which, which made the 360 as successful as it was. The Xbox One, I will, I will gladly admit, even though, I, you know, and I'm an Xbox first guy, is that the variety fell off with the Xbox One. So again, that's PlayStation has got to get back to bringing that, like bringing those multiplayer games to the fact. And and listen, uh, uh, Twisted Metal would be a perfect game to get back. I understand that uh, people are talking about SOCOM and things like that, but I get tired of all the PlayStation stands get out here and they start talking about they start they start capping, and then you look at these 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 numbers when they are when they're the ones that always brag about these damn numbers, and then they don't show improve and go support. When you you want to hear some real numbers? Know. Let's go ahead. Let's get it. Let's get it. Well, how, what was that number on Gears of War? I, I'm glad I'm making it hear her, completion. What was that? Somebody, what was that number? 4%? Say it again. What the Go ahead. The percent of people that completed Gears of War Hive Busters completion. It was I don't know. Point, I completed like it. 3.5%, they I said. completed it. I completed Miles it. Morales has a 71% completion. Yeah, that's, great. That's, that's great. great. That's great. That's great. That's, great. And, and so listen, like you can, that's not even comparable. I, 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 people no, are picking up not. these Xbox but, games on Game Pass, playing them for a few I hours, only, and they're listen, done. I, I, I can only go by, I can only go by what I do. I but we're not I talking busters, about you, Ken. We're talking about the totality of the industry. Great. Go play it. Go what play good, it. What, what good it. is it if people download a game, play it for a, a half an hour, an hour, and then are done with it? Well, Whereas you have these blockbusters that Sony's dropping. When I beat God of War, when I, when, when I beat God of War, it was at 38% when I beat God of War. And I bought, the, well, I didn't even buy the game. I have to give a big shout out to my boy, um, uh, I can't, I can't think of his name right now, but he he, he hooked me up with the game, um, and uh, I beat it. Like I got it like two, three months after it was released, and it was at thirty six percent that people beat it, and I beat it on the hardest difficulty. So again, that just kind of just shows, like, listen, I, it is what it is. I, I don't know. There's some people can make these type of numbers and these type of uh, you know can use the numbers to benefit for any on both sides. I'm just saying that. Mm-hmm. What we've already agreed to is that PlayStation just needs to do better with the multiplayer. Give get Agreed. back to that diversity that they that they need to get. God of War also has a fifty four percent completion. You beat it on Give Me God of War, Kmega. What you say? You beat it on Give Me God of War twenty eight. I beat it on the the first the first three. Now, if there was anything that was afterwards, I didn't beat it after that. But he I means beat, hard. He whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, I didn't beat it after that. I didn't. I didn't beat it after that, and no, I didn't. Yeah. People were asking, "Did yeah. I platinum it?" No, I didn't platinum it. I, only I beat me, because I still got, I still got only me and Jack three, did that. 
Yes, oh, sir. Oh, that's cool. I only I still got three uh, Valkyries, and then and if I, and then uh, okay, that is, that's not I bad. Got, that's not bad. I got yeah, I got three Valkyries. You got you got to stream them fights, man. Let me know when you stream. I want to see. That. <laughs> okay, all right, cool, no problem. Yeah. Right. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm looking at all these PlayStation games. They're from Death Stranding, Ghost of Tsushima, God of War. Most of these games are over fifty percent completion. Yeah, PlayStation. Well, I mean, yes, yeah, they sir. do have high completion rates. They do. Um, but people are actually hey, playing and finishing these. Hey, Returnal really thirty-seven. There you go. Quick super chat break. You want to do that, Jack? Yes, sir. Okay, super chat break. So mm -hmm. from Hustling Motivate, he said, Wonton and Alice killed us. Let's go. Appreciate you, my guy. We got Henry Boyd. He said, Hit the super, uh, please. Let's have a good show tonight, gentlemen. Yes, sir. We got Butch Luffy. He said, uh, Happy B day, old Nebba. We got shot red five five five. He said, "Happy birthday, BG. What up, Jack and Bond? The real ones in the podcast. How was y'all weekend? Anything interesting? I got into an accident. R.I.P. Charger. I'm sorry to hear that, my oh, guy. Oh damn. Mm. Now nothing happened this weekend, man. Uh, let me see. Here. We got Glenzer. He said, "Happy uh, birthday, Games HDR." We got Thank Drew you. two three one six with the big boy twenty dollar donation. He said, "Shout out to the pod and happy born day, BG." We got Jazzy Jefferson. He said, if y'all ever need a guy that plays on Nintendo that actually beats games, isn't bald, or have mental illness, I got y'all. Damn. <laughs> oh, shit. He, he threw a shot at Blander, too. That's crazy. He said mental illness. Oh, let me see. Let me scroll back up. Uh, we got Mr. Miracle. He said, remember when Smooth got extra creamy leaking The Last of Us 2 spoilers? Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to yeah, get I leak it. I didn't leak it, I didn't leak it. I didn't leak it. Yeah, I remember those, Smooth. We I got said you got creamy. Oh, <laughs> we, we got Chief Miyagi, my guy, with the big boy twenty dollar donation. He said, "Happy birthday, BG. Hope you and the fam are well." By the way, uh, smooth Thank won you. the bet, but BG finessed his way out of it as usual. Y'all keep letting them slide. Uh oh, <laughs> we got uh we got Tarek Ahmed. He said, "Kid Danger's eyebrows need a heat sink." <laughs> okay. Oh my god. We got uh, what is his name? Pepe Dio. It says, "Happy day of birth." We got John John the Don with the fifteen dollar donation. He said, "Happy birthday, BG! Appreciate the work you put in to improve the podcast." And here's to many more years of prosperity. We got King Appreciate Kisa with a, with a big boy twenty dollar donation. He said, "Happy birthday, BG! Many blessings to you." We mm -hmm. got Roxas one one eighty with the big boy twenty dollar donation. He said, "Happy birthday, BG! Congrats on the new internet. No more pa podcast cutting out clapping emoji." Yes, sir. We got Dutch has a plan. He said, K-Meg and Smooth remind me of next gen losing to them Titanfall bots. <laughs> and we got, uh, let's see here, LeBron. How you pronounce this? LeBron James. Okay. Uh, another $20 donation. People talking the most about the last ones, too, are the people that never played it. Stop capping. Um, Tarek Ahmed, MGS4 sold 5.67 million. Damn, that's lifetime. Jeez. Uh, we got Tarek Ahmed again. He says, Metal Gear Solid 2 is the best selling MGS. It sold seven million. We got Black Metal Gamer. What are some of the funniest Kiss Moves bet stories? Ooh. The last one that just happened where he bet against himself. Yeah, right. that was dumb as hell. Smooth. That, was, that was dumb as hell. Yeah. Uh, we got Cage Phoenix the first. He says happy birthday. And we got LeBron James again. He said you guys acting like there's a lot of PS fives out there in the wild. Would have sold more if there was more PS fives. And I think that's it for right. Same now. people. Nah. Bragging about 10 million sold, sir. Like, mm. hold on, smooth, smooth courts in session with you right now. I need uh, here we, here we go. <laughs> happy, you're telling, way, but happy birthday, BG. You're, you're telling me that you never no spoiled The Last of Us 2, correct? No, me, oh, personally, he, me personally, last, spoiling it? no, I haven't. No, actually, no, I'll stand by the that. games no, you want to bet on that. No, I'm not betting. I, I know I didn't spoil the game. Don't make a bad move. Don't miss. Don't misconstrue you. I'm not gonna let you misconstrue something. Is 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 that is that your final answer before I? It's don't make a bad move. It's, it's my final answer. One game. One game. So come on. No bet though. All right, BG. I need you to um put this out here because not only did uh Smooth do it, but he gloated about it. When this is this is definitely before the game came out. If I'm not no, mistaken. No, probably not. One second. Yeah, that game came out June. Cause it's a kid's moves more than was part two because he's mad at people roasting inside Xbox. Wow! And then who, you pointed and laughed. Come on. Yeah. Wait, wait, show me, show me, show me, show me, show me where. 
Where? Because are you, 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 you referring? Are you for referring that's what somebody said about me, or is somebody is he actually spoiling the somebody game? Somebody said they was gonna block you. D said block these balls. I'm sitting there reading this. Movie. Yeah, but that's not me spoiling the game. Why did you laugh at him saying you spoiling the game? Oh, because you, did, like, you didn't deny are, it. Where, where, where is it? Show me the source. What are you looking at? I think it was on a podcast you did it on, bro. Yeah, I, I never. Remember. All right. So people were like, because the thing is, people were all right, at that time. I was poking fun at a lot of these uh, little crybabies. No, I, I was, but I was, I was, I actually never spoiled the game. So they were in, you anticipating. Said block these. They balls. were anticipating me spoiling the game. So they were thinking, if you, if you do this, I'm going to run and tell PG, and they're going to kick you a wooden wheel. That, that's when they were crying all that shit. And I was like, fuck. You, I was, I was just talking. But I actually never spoiled the game. Uh -huh. Never. BG, can we can we get this on uh on tape? Likely fucking story smooth. So uh, oh. you know the people can see. This is crazy. You know J Jay Barry's never been one to lie. Facts. Oh uh, what? Come on. Facts. Stop it. Facts. Come on. Come Big on. This is what Bond is talking say, about. Say that name again to me, so I can tell you. That yeah, that's my man. Liar. Right yeah. That's a that that's a Those born words. liar. He was born. Those I came words. out the womb lying. Stop it. Stop. Nah, Jabari, my man, man. I don't know what you're talking hey, man, about. No, no, I, I like Jabari. He's cool, but I, he's a liar. Shit. But, like, I hear no, people you, don't like, you don't like him too much. Just call him a liar. Just call him a liar. Listen, listen. listen, listen that's, the, yeah. that's the delicious uh, Xbox against PlayStation slander. But no, I like Jabari. He's a cool, cool okay, dude. Okay, okay. No, like, like, well, look at these comments. Yeah. Delete this, Smooth. You're better than this. Mm. Smooth, are you okay? Who hurt you today? Mm. Tell me. Xbox what, guys only talk about watching? power. So you're moving the goalposts on what's a spoiler now? Because mm. I never spoiled. That's crazy. I saw what you see. First of all, you deleted whatever you posted because who be three two one says I saw what you posted. Oh, Not oh, a person talking about. Yeah, but, but you yeah, really you didn't. Have, oh yeah, to I do remember that. this now. Yeah, I tons of what you who are what? PlayStation yeah. fans who don't no. troll you. Yeah, about that minute. No, 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 I know exactly what this was. This is all right. Who asked me? I think was it Red who asked me to take it down because it wasn't a spoiler. These these motherfuckers was in their pants. That's why this is where I learned I can't stand PlayStation fanboys. These are the softest oh, motherfuckers that oh. ever walked the earth. Oh. I said these niggas mad because Joel got his ass beat by a ma'am. That's what I said. That wasn't that a spoiler. Is, yo, that's not spoiling. That's nothing. Not spoiling. That's not no, spoiling. No, no. I'm gonna tell you why that's a spoiler. I'm gonna tell you why that's a spoiler because uh -huh. before the game came out, first of all. Before the game came out, it was rumored that the game had a transgender character. And if you play the game at the beginning, Abby is clearly a masculine woman. So you, by you saying that, I already but that's know. Not, but that's not the transgender, the transgender uh, no, gender but, character, though. Either, not, either way, that's what. But that's what oh, they were. Wait, 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 Jack, move. At the time before the game came out, it was. Look, look, look. Hold on, I got to test. I got to test your your might here, brother. You were playing. I know that. I know that character's not transgender. Oh, Listen, okay, but know, uh, hold on. What, what's your what's your status on that on that uh, game? Because I got The Last of Us Two. I know what the story I, is. I, I, I have I have the platinum. I've beaten it twice. So okay, we'll okay. I'm just saying because okay, I mean, no. listen. Because no, Abby is not transgender. I, I realize you're not okay. listening to what I'm but, saying. But saying I mean, a ma'am, referring no, to her not, as ma'am. No, is you're still... not listening. You're not listening mm. because before the before the game came out, people were tweeting pictures of Abby saying, "Oh, it's ma'am off the GameStop meme." So people automatically assume. Because she was muscular, that she was a transgender. That was the belief going into the game. You see what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, so, right, so right, people, right. that's what people thought. And also, by you saying that and by people playing the beginning of the game, you automatically know Abby and Joel are going to have some type of run in to where she possibly beats him. But he didn't give the ultimate spoiler of yeah, what happened. That, that's, 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 yeah, that's, 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 that ain't, ain't the same, brother. brother. That ain't, that ain't as, the same. So, that's oh, spoiler, so bro. so smooth. As somebody who doesn't think anything is a spoiler and is not bothered by spoilers, that's definitely a spoiler. Dog. No, it's not. That's oh, definitely a spoiler. Boy, that's, that's definitely a spoiler. Boy, a spoiler. Listen, no, it's not. No, it's not. Oh, wait, a minute, spoiler, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Because at the very beginning of the game, you already know it's established about what what's going on between uh, Abby and Joel. They let that already be she established. Never said, no, no, it's not. No, it is not. No, it is not. No, it is not. Uh, Oh, man, that's, oh, that's amazing. She, Joel getting beat up, whether whether or not they tell you what fully happens, him getting beat up is still a major plot point. That's a yep. that's a spoiler. Really? Here's the here's the here's the major, here's the major, problem, here's if, the if major you, problem. If I told you if I told you that that Locke beat up beat up Chief, that's not a major plot point. The only 
can't make it. Can't make it. The only reason that was known or or assumed by people was because of the spoilers. You see what I'm saying? That's no, why I people. Got, I, got, I get people. that point, but I'm just that's saying. What I'm, the, that's what I'm but, saying. But, no, 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 no. You're right, but I'm just saying in the sense of what what Smooth was saying. It doesn't. He's coming off. Everybody knew that there was going to be some kind of issues, but he didn't give the ultimate climax of what happened within the story about man. About that's good what's enough. Going on. No, nah, that was uh, enough, yeah, yeah. Come on, here's the, big, my boy. If you if you're not get, if you're not mentally retarded, you can put two and two together, bro. Like, okay, what's here's the overall Smooth, issue. I'm here though. for you, brother. I'm here, man. I'm here. Here's the overall issue, though. Uh, you might as well block Smooth right now because these uh, motherfuckers gonna be coming for vengeance <laughs> with these Halo spoilers. No, as they I as as they as they, should, as they as they should they are like smooth like I haven't seen that one yet. <laughs> yeah, because the game's not even, the game doesn't have a release date. But don't worry, they come hey, hey, with their ass move. They they can't. I remember I told you you can't spoil anything for me. I, I'm not married hey, Twitter, to uh, hey, Twitter, Twitter, y'all know what to do. <laughs> y'all know what to do. Yeah. Um, they keep hey, trying. Hey, I'm get, like, go get ahead, that go block ahead, button ready, smooth. They, oh, they, they can't spoil anything for you because I there there has even when I played the like the um, the Last of Us, like uh, you can't spoil a game for me. It, can, it just can't happen. Oh, he's already I'm, putting it out here. BG, you're you're a mess, man. No, we, we gotta ask the show, people. Man. We gotta no, reach out to the streets. No, man, you know who listen to this show more than anybody. Come on, man. Yeah, Xbox gamers, hit that no button. I gotta reach out and touch the streets. Sorry, I gotta oh, reach out and touch the streets, Come man. Come on, man. <laughs> gotta give him a voice. But uh, um, definitely, uh, yeah, I, I, I definitely want to move on to the next topic. Uh, let's oh, talk about this uh, PlayStation Five SSD situation. Um, so I've been I've been a little bit out the loop because you know I haven't been you know paying attention as much. So here, what I do know is I, I guess the issue with the PS Five and the SS the SSD situation is one compatibility. You know, based on like speeds and, and stuff like that. I think that's what's the, what the compatibility is based on. Uh, two, it's advised that you uh, may need a heat sink for the uh, you know the SSD. Three, the this, price. This is false. Which, the, the price, which right now you know some people may have a problem with it, but in the future, you know it, the price won't won't be it won't be an issue because these price the prices of these SSDs are definitely going to drop because of competition and that just naturally happens over time. Um, and I can understand why why PlayStation went this route because they've had bad experiences with proprietary things, you know, like such as such as you know how they handle uh, what was it the Vita? Vita. Yeah. Vita so I can understand. Cars. Yeah, I can understand why they went down this route but i still feel like i still understand why some people have a problem with it like it's it's not this thing where you need a mechanical uh you need a degree in mechanical engineering like some people are making it seem like you need but i, I do agree that it's not it's not convenient either because of like some some compatibility issues that you could get the wrong SSD Man. and the prices and everything but what what are y'all thoughts on it I, I think, first of all, I want to say this shit is fake news. This is people being fucking stupid. This is my issue with this, right? Now, I don't have a problem with people being mad about the price because the price is all crazy, right? My thing with this is that this. People are acting like a lot of these NVMe SSDs do not already come with a heat, stink, uh, heat sink on <laughs> them, right? That, and that, and that's, what, that's where some of the price... If you get an SSD with a heat sink already on it, it's going to drive up the price and the read speeds that they're requiring, it drives up the price. That's why these shits cost so much fucking money right now, right? Which, like I said, the price no, are the crazy. heat sinks that, aren't that expensive. That's false. Buying an NVMe drive fine. compared to one of the heat sink can cost you only like $20 more. Bond, you are wrong. God damn! There is a heat right what are you talking about? Bond, bond, bond. I can show you an example of a, of a SSD NVMe and the one with the heat sink costs one hundred twenty five dollars, one hundred and fifty dollars more. The exact same SSD. Let, let, let me pull mine up right now. You're not listening. You can get a heat sink for twenty dollars, but uh, a SSD with one pre installed costs up upwards of one hundred and fifty dollars more. But is that went, SSD? But is that heat sink compatible with the SSD that you purchased though? It's That's already the on there. I'm, what I'm okay, saying is, a heat, ahead, I'm sorry. Go ahead. a heat sink by itself is not necessarily that much more expensive. But if you want one already on the SSD, you can get the exact same SSD if it comes pre-installed with a heat sink. The price can vary up to upwards of $150 more, is what I've seen. That was yesterday I saw this, right? So what I'm saying is, I'm saying all that to say this: we've already had two or three companies come out and say they're compatible with the PS5. 
the prices are crazy right now. Me personally, I wouldn't get one right now because when a faster read speed come out, they're going to be cheaper, right? So, hey, man. But, uh, here, here are Seagate's uh, prices. Let me just say this real quick. Well, the, the, I just put your link right there in the Discord. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Okay. The, I'll, the, I'll, I'll read it off real quick for you, BG. The five, yeah. It's got a 500 meg, gigabyte, one terabyte, two terabyte. All right, this is without that, without the, the heat sink. $90. $90 without the heat sink for the 500 gig. With the heat sink, $109. You're paying $20 more. One terabyte without the heat sink, it is 160. With the heat sink, it's 160. It's only $20 more for most of these high end brands for the heat sink. What brand are you looking at, Jack? I'm feeling no, go find it. I've see. ever seen costed hundreds of dollars more. The heat sink, this was definitely, I said, I'm going to go find it. Okay, but okay, so I just want to just address this point. It's it's not so much about like I mean, listen, gamers ask for this, and and listen, we ask for more speed, we ask for the SSDs, we ask for more options. power, we ask for better games, we you know better options. So and we got it. And so for anybody that's complaining at this point, that's trying to say, oh well, it's too expensive, tough because this is what you ask for, and so. You know, only thing that you can do at this point is just wait, like Jack Move said he was going to do, or go ahead and just bite the bullet, like I did, and just go ahead and buy the uh, the compare the the uh, the uh, the plate double well, the Xbox uh, version of what they got what they got for the external uh, storage, which cost me two hundred and nineteen dollars. So, yeah. um, the thing of it is, is just the convenience and about how, which is the biggest problem, is that how many people are going to cut corners. On this, it's not about the people opening up the opening up the PlayStation Five and going in there. I mean, I think a lot of people just like to cap and like to make fun of it because of the fact that when you you know, like, look, PlayStation was the inventor of the of the memory card. Like, you know, you know, what I'm saying, like, you just put it in. PlayStation was it. not the inventor. Of the well, I'm not card. saying the inventor. I'm, I'm take that back. I'm sorry, but PlayStation, like, when you go back to the PlayStation Two, they had the memory card, and therefore, you know, and the PlayStation One, you had the memory card. Boom. And the Sega CD. Yeah, and the Sega CD. And you boom, that's it. Convenience. That's what the console is about. Plug and play convenience. Now, what you're telling people to do is to go in, take it out. And I understand that when people say, well, you know, your mom, your pops, or whatever, all they got to do is just go into the internet and then they can look it up and then try to figure it and figure it out that way. The biggest problem, though, with this is that there's going to be content creators and people that other people trust that listen to these people to find shortcuts. To not pay as much, and then that's going to compromise the PlayStation Fives. And then on top of this, you get this information that the place that some of these games might not work. So you're beta testing this stuff. And 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 listen, PlayStation should have just been more uh, transparent from the beginning of what they were doing. They get there, they release the console, they're talking about all this speed, everybody's all hype, and then once the console comes out, next thing you know, they say, oh, well, we gotta, we, for this, you know, this expansion stuff that we was talking about, eh, just wait, just wait, just wait. So we're just gonna just cut this off so nobody damages their PlayStation 5s. That See? is the, I think that's the biggest problem overall, and then when you look at the, when you look at somebody that's gonna try to cut corners, and try to find the cheapest version, or try to find a, a reason to try to because they don't want to pay the 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 money for getting the accurate stuff. There's going to be PlayStations that's not going to have the lid on it. We see that there's that uh, I seen one uh, writer from uh, a staff writer from Digital Foundry that that uh, that um, that posted something where you can put a heat sink, but it, you can't even put the the little lid back on it. To screw it back in because it's it it doesn't fit and PlayStation made it, it said look you have to have the proper uh, stuff for this so I I don't know it's just a big mess PlayStation should have been more transparent at the end of the day in my opinion and, and okay okay hold on hey, hey Meg I don't mean to yes, interrupt sir. okay no 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 okay I was done. I was so done. we have a Western uh, digital black SSD five hundred gigabyte mm -hmm. the regular okay you see it the regular one was one seventeen. With the heat, heat, heat sink installed, it's $164. That is a, a roughly right. but here's roughly the issue. A 50, roughly here's, a $50 here's a, difference. Hold on. Wait a minute. Here's the wait problem, a minute. though, Jack. That's hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. Western Digital Black. These are the first. Western Digital Black 
SSD, $429. If you want it with a heat sink installed, it's $567. So it's roughly $140 more with the heat. This is what I was saying, okay? So all the people in the comment section, yeah, you, there you go. Yeah, but these are only two instances. where You can buy separate heat sinks for $10, $20, like I stated. That's but how you, much they cost. But, 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 you're not listening. You, The PS5 is recommended that you get a... a a SSD with a heat sink already installed. Who the fuck finna install a heat sink onto a SSD? Bro, ain't nobody. Uh, anybody, doing that, bro. That's why you can buy them separately. Bro, ain't nobody you're finna do that for no fucking getting... PS5, bro. Okay, so if... here, okay, here's my biggest issue. First of all, you're willingly getting finesse. You can buy it without the heat sink by your own. That's one. I don't know why you would spend a hundred dollars plus more for somebody else's. Hey, hold on real quick. Hey, Jack, look at those screenshots. One is 500 gigabytes, one is two terabytes. That's the difference. That's also the difference, exactly. That's, you're not looking. The regular one is more. You see that, right? Yeah. My, my, the, my, stand, my, the standard two terabyte is 429. The one with the heat sink is 567. You see that, right? The two terabyte. These these are rare exceptions. My point is, Jack, the, All stand, I see is the one standard heat, heat sinks, one the standard heat sinks are like $20, $30. But my point is this. Why are console gamers willing to spend money for extra storage that literally will cost? You're literally spending money on storage that equates to the cost of the console when there's a much cheaper and efficient option you can use. Delete BG, your games. help me out with this. Delete your games. Delete Beat your games. Delete, delete your games. It's free. It's free. Delete. 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 Here's the thing, right? And, and, and by the way, so Sony, this is in beta right now. Only people uh, who are opted into the uh, this PlayStation beta can actually try this out. Um, they, and they did release some instructions uh, on the PlayStation blog on exactly how to do this. Um, and, you know, there's always a risk when you give people options um, instead of saying, hey, you have to buy this. This is the only thing that works. You know, the, there's, a, there's, a pro, there's the pro and con when you have options, you know, there's that margin of human error when you have options that, that comes with it, right? But like like Vaughn said, if people would just delete their games, this wouldn't be an issue. I don't know why people like to digital to, to, to do digital hoarding. You know, I I don't get it, man. It's well, you got to think about games like um, Call of Duty. If you're one of those buyers, uh, if you're one of those purchasers of Call of Duty every year, like I am. I had to finally uninstall Call uh, Call of Duty because it just because uh, I had yeah it's just too too much like it's it it's six hundred and like ninety two gigs if you got Warzone if you got the if you had a uh, Modern Warfare and then if you have Cold War and then every every week they have an update mm -hmm. that's like five to yeah yeah tw twelve gigs. And I'm like, you know what? This is ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? So I, it's just, it's, and then also, that's the other reason I'm pretty sure we will be talking about here a little bit later. But to me, that's just, that's the whole point. If there's a person that likes that, and then let's say by Returnal, they buy Ratchet and Clank, then they, then they'll say that, uh, you know, whatever game that's going to be coming through that they want to get, and that's, uh, you know, that's, and that's what they have available. And Call of Duty is taking the majority of it. It's an inconvenience. That's the whole point about. No, this, no, no, this. no, no. That's yeah. wrong. An inconvenience okay. is you spending four hundred dollars. On more storage. That's an inconvenience. I mean, well, I mean your games after finishing them is not an inconvenience. Listen, game, gaming is gaming is not a cheap hobby anymore, brother. It's just like with PC. If you want, if you want the best of the best, you're gonna have to get it better. You're gonna have to get a better. You're monitor. not getting anything better. All you're getting is you not finishing your games. Listen, I can never go back, Bond, to uh finishing to my games? Xbox One. Shook to my Xbox One. No, I finished my games, bro. That's all. Then good. why like, do you need all this extra storage? Because that's this. That's my convenience. Five hundred gigabytes ain't that much, though, man. It's not that much, bro. No, 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 no. Hold on. Check it out. No, no. I don't. I, this is capping. No, this is the reality. It's not people capping. Want, people want to have their storage. People want to have the, where they can just go and they can get games. And, and, and people have backlogs. If people really actually purchase games oh, like they okay, talk to, okay. they have See, backlogs. Now so, you're talking my language. Why do people uh, okay. have backlogs? Oh, uh, because of the fact that they that they that they're oh, beat like, their like, games. No, that's got no. No, that's like, exactly you what it is. You have a backlog because you, you did not you, beat your games. That, no, that's 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 ridiculous. Because no, it's not. <laughs> people will play games, and if they're playing a multiplayer game and they're playing other games that's that comes out, or they want to jump on the new 
the new title, then those other games get pushed back. Everybody but goes through that. But if you beat your games, games, K-Mega, you don't got to worry about this issue. But, if you be, but hold on, listen. If you got those little short experiences that's six to ten hours, then I agree. But I like playing games that takes me two, three, four hundred hours. How many, to how many games are so you playing? How many games are you playing at a time right now? I'm playing three right now. And, okay. and, and, and for those games, I've I've beat some of them, and then other games that I've seen here and I've and what, and and what play multi- games and I'm playing multiplayer these? games too. And that and multiplayer games takes a lot of time. And what I three just, games I are just, you I playing? Just, okay, I just beat Scarlet Nexus. I just beat Devil May Cry Five, and then I just beat uh, Greedfall. And those, those games will not take up your whole hard drive or your whole and whatever they will no, not take but, up all your But also, but I got a friend that likes to play Call of Duty, and I was going in and I was playing Call of Duty, and that takes the most out of every other game that I yeah, have. But and your, so your like, drive no, still won't I, be I full. I, no, 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 they are full because I, I like the convenience of this when I want to go back and there's games that I have in my backlog that oh. I want to beat, then I can do it. Listen, everybody can make the decision that they want to, but I don't want to hear anybody say, well, this is too expensive. You got to you gotta buy the right type of television. You got to buy the right type of monitor. You got to get all this other extra stuff that you want to get for it to, to, to get the best experience out of these new consoles. So, Let's again, this. if that... The best experience what they want to. finishing your games. But here's the yeah. crazy thing before... Like, no, the best experience, like, yeah. But you, but you want to... Y'all, y'all games, literally got the best conditioned. experience, especially if you play those single-player experience. Y'all literally got conditioned Mm-mm. to buy storage... Like, a batch of memory cards on the PS2 costs as much as the goddamn machine. Y'all literally got conditioned to buy all this extra storage because you don't finish games. That's so, crazy to me. No, that just means you just buy games and then... They and don't finish them. them. No, so, you just buy games. Listen, I... I'll go I, ahead, I, I don't ahead. see no wrong so, buying so, storage. So, yeah, yeah okay, when so, you want to support the... Ind- Hold on, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry, BG. Let me, let me just say this to Bond. If I want to, okay, one minute you want to say, do you got some of you guys want to come out and say, well, y'all don't support the industry because there's Game Pass and that's just hurting the industry. And then when people do buy games, then you want to try to came and label them and say that they don't, but you they can don't buy all the games you want. Games? Come I'm on, just man. saying, be, I'm Stop. just saying, beat your games. Stop. Uh, I do. I'm not, I'm not, I do. Just beat your games. I do, but I'm I take my time with my games. I'm not your backlog. I'm not in a hurry. I'm not in a hurry. What's your backlog? What'd you say? How big is your backlog? It's pretty big. It's pretty then massive. You don't but beat I, your games. But I beat. But I beat games. Pretty no, nasty. No. And I put time <laughs> you into beat these games. games but you I don't beat my time. Listen, listen within, the last, when, within the last when the last when the last month, I sit there and I beat Scarlet Nexus. I sit there and beat Greedfall. But I you sit still there have a I went, big I, I went back. I went back to it. I went to another. I went to. A, I went back oh, as far God. as uh, Assassin's Creed Infinite. I put 125 hours into that game. I beat that. Irrelevant. It does matter. No, I'll tell. I'll tell you why right now. I don't. If, wanna, if, I, if, I wanna, if, if then when I see another game that comes on sale, then I'm like, oh, I want to play that game. I'll get but that. Or if, it. or if a game that I see that I really want, like Scarlet Nexus, I went ahead and bought that full price, and then I went ahead and I played it because that was the game I wanted to play right then and there, here's and then the, I beat it. That's the, the, that's the Here's the flaw you in your tell, argument. You cannot tell anybody. Yeah, I can. How they how they supposed to play? You know, here, no, here's the flaw in your argument. It's irrelevant. No, if I bought not, ten, if, is I, way wrong. if I bought way ten off. games in a year mm-hmm. and I beat ten games, I beat my games. If, if you, you bought, if, if, if you, you beat bought a, ten games in a year, that's fine. Finish, but let me finish. I bought more. If than you that. bought, if you finished a hundred games in a year, and you bought five hundred, you don't beat your games. That's not true. That's a hundred percent true. Because that's not. That's not true. Because there's hundred games you didn't like, beat that you okay. bought. All right, hold you on. don't beat just, your games. One, one more scenario, because there's other there's other things to be talked about. But let's like the, the uh, Dungeons and Dragon games. I played that on uh, Game Pass. I did not buy that game. Um, and I put in, I, I maxed out on every character. I hit them all on every every character is maxed to twenty on the Dungeons and Dragons uh, a game that came out here just a couple of months ago, or just last month actually. I maxed that out, but that's an online heavy game. And so, therefore, when you do that and then you match that out, then, okay, then you move on to the next. Like, Control, for instance. I haven't beat Control yet, and I wanted to also wait for that experience. And just think about, like, with Cyberpunk, right? I beat Cyberpunk, but I want to play Cyberpunk again with the new enhancements. Oh, that's why I downloaded it. That no, no, I just keep it in my keep it exactly. in so when I can jump back and I can play it read that again. One. Or when I play Madden, when I play MLB the show on my Xbox, when oh I want to play other games that are online heavy and centric or, or NBA 2K, that is it listen, you can't just because your your process of how you play your games 
is is different than mine, that doesn't mean that I'm beat I, or, or beat my you, games I, as I, I do. I beat control. I beat my games. So, right, okay. so did you beat so, Greedfall? Never played no. it. Never okay. bought. So, I never bought okay. it. That's the thing. Right. Again, <laughs> exactly. so you beat Scarlet Nexus? Never no. bought it. Okay. What about I, the games I buy? Buy. What about, I beat. Uh, what about Assassin's Creed? Uh, if, I've if, never. Uh, I've never beaten Assassin's Creed. I, mean, I don't play. Never bought it. Well, okay. All right. Cool. That's my whole point. I beat my games. Okay, right. Dragon so Age. Let that? me let me point out a few things. I gotta, I gotta okay. bring it back. To point out a few things. So, um, Mark Cerny, uh, for people who you know may want a go to SSD if you're gonna buy one, he said his exter his his SSD of choice was the WD Black SN 850. Oh, that's external SSD. Oh, what the hell? Um, well, yeah, but that's what he said. So, I also want to point out that. You know, uh, like K-Mega named Call of Duty, you know, and how much space that takes up. I just want to point out, you know, because a lot of people make that point that Call of Duty is an outlier. That's that Call of Duty is the exception. The The average game is nowhere near the size of Call of Duty. I just need to point that out because people always act like every game that, come, that comes out is like 700 some, or some, some shit some, like that. Some, pe some people, that's all they play. They might get two or three Call of Duties on their uh, shit. Though. True. You got to think about true. that too. True, and also, like, I understand wanting to pay for convenience, bro. I, I pay for convenience all the time. Like, I, I can mount TVs, like, but, like, I mounted one of my TVs, but I paid somebody else to mount the other one just because I didn't feel like it. So I get paying for convenience, but, like, my man Jay Bari saying he paying $900 for an SSD just because he don't want to hey, delete man. something? Bruh, the, my, my man out his mind. You know what the funny thing is, though? These guys like Jay Barr be saying PC gaming is too expensive and you have to upgrade it too much, and, too, and which is funny. And you know you know what uh, was also crazy about that? Like, now that these... <laughs> and, and I get it. Once you get something better, it's hard to go back. But, okay, because you can store, for example, if you don't want to delete your games, you could technically still store it on, an, on, a, on a hard drive, on a regular hard drive, right? And just put it back. On the console, if you don't want to delete, that's, that's, but, too, much, that's too much work. But 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 hold on. What? But now these dudes are acting. These you dudes are open acting. Up your system, they, they, bro. These, bro, you got to think yo. though. Hold on. Which one would you rather? You still okay? You still have to buy an external hard drive, which would be cheaper, but spend a little extra money and you could just play the a game. A little on. extra, bold, bro. bro. Yeah, bro, bro. Bro, you can expand oh your score for one hundred and fifty. No, y'all are looking on. at the most expensive upgrades, bro. But yo, y'all were just. But hold on. Con, but thing about dudes on consoles is, these dudes is is acting like they're too good for regular hard drives now. Just a year ago, that's what y'all was on. But just you can't. Like the you, whole can't generation you can't. You on. can't play. You can't play the. You no, can't play you the can't game play. on the hard that's drive. That's not what he said. He said you can I, just tr install the games on the hard drive and transfer them. Uh, transfer be, to the be, SSD oh, when you want no, the wait, game. Wait, 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 wait. Let me get this straight. It's acceptable to buy an external hard drive and do more steps than to buy an SSD and oh. just play it. What the fuck? What I'm are sorry. I'm about? sorry. More steps is is not opening up your machine. Wait, okay, Bob. Let me ask you a question. Which one is easier, buying a fucking uh archaic fucking clunky ass external hard drive or installing an SSD and being able to play the games directly off of that or having to de delete and re-download? What the fuck are y'all talking about? You don't need to don't delete and re-download. You have first, yes, you you. That's first, what you have. First to do of all, no, no, no. You're wrong. First of all, because nigga, you're wrong, Bond. You're not listening. If you have a PS5, mm. if you have a regular hard drive, you cannot play the games off the hard drive, sir. That's, that's what we telling what you. What BG's talking that's about? That's what fuck it is, nigga. What are you paying attention to? What he said? He said, "Nigga, that, what the fuck are you saying, bud? You <laughs> that's said, what you have to do, said, nigga. You're not listening. You being said, stupid. I need you to calm down and listen. I need you to listen, bro. You're being stupid, bro. Listen. Go ahead, continue so I can destroy your point. Go ahead. The point is, dumb nigga, if you got a game on a hard drive on PS5, you have to delete and make space to re-download it onto your system. That's what I'm telling you. So you can't put the you can't move the game to the hard drive and then move it to the SSD when you want to play. You can't just transfer the install. It, to, to have to move it to the SSD, you would have to free up space, correct? Because that's why you yes, have it on the hard drive. But you can also space. maneuver installations to the regular hard drive, correct? That's dumb yes. as fuck. That's but, dumb but, as fuck. Hold, on, hold on, Jack. On hold on, Jack. That's what BG said, and you told that's me I wasn't listening. Hell. No, no, but that's hear me dumb. out. You can say that's it's dumb. dumb. You can say it's dumb all you want, but that's what BG said, 
but you said I wasn't listening. Okay. No, you weren't listening. Let me, now, let here's me, what, I, let me ask here's what I'm going to tell you right now. Here's what I'm going to tell you right now. Steam has a feature, right? You can open up. I have mo- I have a SSD, an NVMe, and a hard drive on Steam. You can literally Why have. Why do you have all that? I bought them over yeah, the course of years. Hard my hard What's drive that? is my hard drive is twelve years old. My SSD is six hey, years well, old. Hey, what? I ain't actually all it was. Why you got all that? Because I have them. Why? Because I have them over the course of a decade. Over the course of a decade, I've, I've been upgrading my computer. That's so just how so I got a new, just, you, so, I got so, a new so, graphics so card. I got more RAM. Hard drive and your shit, but somebody want to more RAM. But hear, hear me out. What I'm about to, hear me out. What I'm about to say. Steam, if you have a game installed, it allows you to move the whole game installation to different drives. So in Sony's case, you could install a game, move it to the regular hard drive, and then when you want to play it again, you can just move it from the regular hard drive oh. back to the main SSD. That's okay, what PG you... was saying, but okay, you were getting cool. too angry. Because it's stupid. Guess what you can okay. do with SSD? Guess what you can do with SSD? Oh, what? there's Ratchet and Clank. It's on my SSD. I want to play it. Click play. Oh, you got to move it back. No, you do not. If you have an yes. SSD, you can play it off of the SSD. Yes. That's what I'm trying to tell you, bro. But we're talking about I got, storing I got, extra I things to... you're not actively playing, Jack. But you make but it you extra. You want to call that convenient, but is it convenient it's spending an extra? F- so is it more convenient spending another five, six hundred dollars? Yes or no? Yes, because hey, you're paying okay. for the convenience. Okay. Yes, yes, money. Go ahead. Is okay. there money? You, I guess. Pay, is, is there if money? you think it's if you oh, think it's more oh, convenient oh, for five six hundred dollars, because oh, okay, that's on you. You're going to the extreme, bond. The cheapest. No, 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 you're going to the extreme. Oh, you're going to six hundred dollars because you don't want to finish your game. Right, can you all right. do you, you do know you can buy a SSD for your PS5 that's under two hundred dollars, right? You do know yeah. that. Yeah. So why you keep saying five or six hundred? Can, can you hey, play what, Russian? What what two what two hundred dollars can you? But what, what, how, how big is the size? Five hundred gigabytes. Oh, can you put Call of Duty on that? Yes! Okay then. Can so you put that? Can you put anything else besides Call of Duty on that? Yes! How okay, much okay, is Call of Duty install? You can put five Call of Duty on that motherfucker. How, how, yes. how much is what the what about, what about PSN games? What about the Wait, PSN what games? Wait, you guys are just complaining you don't have enough space, but now 500, but now 500 is more than enough? It was just last month, y'all were complaining yeah. about that. You were complaining Bro. about the Series S not having enough at 500 Bro, gigs. You're lit- but Bond, you're not listening. You're literally doubling up your space with a 500 gigabyte SSD. That's no. what I'm telling you. Here's the problem why you're not, because you can't share the Because Jack is saying you're doubling on one it. drive De- or the other. You Jack know, is saying it's not a adding. combined drive. It is, Bond, you're not, it is combined. That's why you're not, Bond, when you put an well, SSD if in If you install two different yes. SSDs, you can, you can run them off of both. That, I don't believe you can do that. Yes, you can. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You're not listening, bro. It's only right. divided if you use a regular oh, Okay, Jack, move. let me ask you this question. Okay, what about with PSN? When you get all these good, because they've been having fantastic games coming on there, and then you got to add those on as well. I mean, don't that also hamper, you know, you know, hamper what what you're trying to do as well when you when you're trying to you know negotiate your storage uh, situation? I mean, look, this is all I know. To me personally, I'm not buying one of these drives. So I personally don't need one right now. But I don't see nothing wrong with somebody spending 150, getting the extra 500 gigabytes. That's doubling up the storage right there. When you install it, it works just like so, it's part just of to the confirm. system memory. You, okay, just just to confirm, store. you add you add the 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 SSD, right? It's pretty much when as soon as when you turn on your PlayStation, it's as if it's one drive, pretty much. That's what I'm. That's what I'm telling. Fine. Okay. That's what you, you don't have. Okay. You don't have. But if it was on a hard drive, and it's a PS5. That's I thought it would be two stuff. separate drives and two yeah. separate memories like everything else. I think they would okay, combine okay, the okay. drive space. That's what I was trying to tell you in the first place. Okay, well, there you go. Man, I wish I people have, would just delete their games. <laughs> exactly. Like, we're having people, an hour-long conversation because people won't yeah. beat and delete games. Yeah, let's move on. <laughs> let's move on. Oh, man. God damn it. Okay. I just want to point out... Hold on. I just want to point out real quick. If... If you was only using one storage device, why is that SSD space empty? You're adding on to it. So Jack was saying, I don't know how I didn't. I, because in the history of gaming, you've you never been it. able to install a game across multiple drives until the PlayStation 5, yeah, apparently. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. You can't, yeah, yeah. You can't yeah, install a Steam game across multiple on. drives. Yeah, it just recognizes like extra space, yeah. It'll, okay. it'll show up. So like, let's just say I had a one terabyte game, but two 500 gigabyte hard drives. 
on a computer, you can't install that. You can only install it to one drive. What Jack is saying is that the, P the PS5 recognizes both drives as one pooled storage, which in the history of gaming, I've never Does? seen happen, but so apparently you can, that's you, wait, 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 wait. You can install one game, like half of, like 20, a, a 40 gig game, 20 gigs on one drive, like the internal drive, and the other one on your expansion? That's what Jack is saying. I don't think, it works, like I don't think it works like that. That's what Jack is saying. I, 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 we, we, we have to see. I don't, I don't know about all that. So that's what you just said. Is it like that or no, is it what not? I, what I, no, what, what, no, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is it doesn't differentiate. Like if you had a PS5 game on the external storage, you can't play that. If it's a like regular hard drive, you have to take it off the hard drive, reinstall it. But if it was just on an SSD, you could just launch it from the console, like no problem type shit. That's what you I'm don't saying. Have to, he's saying but you don't have to like select um, yeah. like which drive it's coming from, I guess. That's yeah, and you saying. ain't got to do all the extra shit. You ain't got to move it. Then I got to bring, you know what I mean? All the extra shit. Moving really, the transfer speeds on even a regular HDD aren't, aren't even that slow to transfer files in bulk. Like they from, not, but I mean, that's an extra step. It, that, it, that's it would literally happen. take you 10 minutes to transfer it. It would take you wow. infinitesimally less time to do that than to actually download. That's also a point. But from what you were saying is, if you added another hard drive, it would be pooled, shared, Storage. That's what you initially said. Is that true or not? I don't. I don't have one, so I don't know. Somebody said you can do that on the Xbox, though. So no, that's that's that got to be false. Well, I don't well, believe gotta, you can install a game across multiple drives. Well, we got to move on. Um, yeah, we'll I, I ain't never we'll tried. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, delete your games, people. Uh, okay, so Kenna Bridge of Spirits has been delayed to we September twenty first. Um, I mean. Not exactly shocked, but uh, I will say I think this game, is, I think this game is gonna be in for what it means to whatever it means to you. I think this game is gonna be in like the seventies as far as like Metacritic goes because I think this game might be lacking in the gameplay department, right? Because I because this 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 developer, their most experience in animation and visuals. So I think the gameplay might be somewhat kind of bare bones. That's what that's what my you know that's what my my BG sense is telling me, and my BG sense is often right. I don't think it's gonna be a bad game, but I think you know it's their first game, and you know I, I just think the gameplay department you know might not be as in depth as uh, one would hope. Isn't that what people were saying about the uh, the order when that first came out? What would they say yeah, about the right. order? What the hell? Well, it was like movie developers working on a game or something, but the gameplay didn't feel too good oh. or something like that. They had made, they had, but they had actually made other games before that, though. The order did. Oh, for real. Yeah, I yeah. think it's a high 70. I think the game will be a high 70. But, uh, man, I don't know, man. Um, I hope it's good. Delayed. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll see. You know, they, they delayed it a month. So, and it's coming out. September 21st, which is kind of packed. That's like a lot of games are coming out around that time. You know, August would have been perfect for them because it's not a lot of competition. So. There's a lot of games coming out next month. Shit. There's a lot of games I coming heard, out next month, too. They were afraid of Psychonauts 2. Psychonauts 2 <laughs> coming out. Uh, what is it? 12 minutes coming out. Ghost of no more Heroes 3. No more heroes. Man. There's a lot of games were, coming out next month, too. They were shaking in their boots because of Psychonauts? Damn. But it's so. month. Crazy. Okay. Uh, also, Horizon Forbidden West hasn't been confirmed by Sony yet, but it's it's de delayed. We all knew that was coming. We no nobody really believed that it was coming out this year because you know uh, it, it's very predictable how how PlayStation moves. Um, they're gonna you already know what they're gonna do. They're gonna um, like re uh, release like a video, a, a gameplay video, or have like some type of event, and they're gonna show some more Horizon gameplay. And at the end of the trailer, it's gonna say uh 2022 because like they don't really say like oh we're delaying the game they just announced a release date that's past their their previous release date <laughs> and act like that was always their release date <laughs> that's what they do so that's probably what they're gonna do it's you know they haven't confirmed it yet but that's gonna happen i'm thinking february um horizon yeah i mean I mean, that would coincide with the first game's release date, and Sony do like to kind of, you know, do do that type shit with their games. So, um, I wouldn't be mad. Wait a minute, you said February? Damn. I wouldn't be mad at that. I mean, shit. It ain't coming out this year, so. Early February. Okay. It is what um, it is, man. 
Yeah. So uh, I want to talk about quickly about this. Uh, this the what is the publisher name um, or developer? I'm not sure. Anna Perna for the straight the stray game. Am I saying their name? Anna, 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 Perna, Anna Perna. Yeah, they did the game last stop as well. Okay. Oh, really? Oh, so yeah. I really haven't played any of their games and didn't really care about most of their games. But I, I was looking at this stray game, and this is literally people can roast me if they want. I understand if you want to roast me. Because I, I, I be like getting on people for playing dumber games, like games of stupider concepts. But I'm, I'm looking at this game where you literally just play as a stray cat. And I don't, I don't know, it seems like you just go on missions for somebody or some shit like that. And I'm like, why, why does this game look enjoyable? Am I, am I the only one that thinks this game looks enjoyable playing as a stray cat for some reason? I think um, the game looked cool. Probably. I ain't got a problem. Most people, that game has a really um good reception, though. I think most people just, just want to check that out. Yeah, I, I play. Like, I can't tell you, like, I can't look at it and tell you exactly what looks good about it. I mean, the visuals definitely look good, but I can't tell you what it, what else looks good about it. But it, it just looks, it just looked like a cool game to me. So Did it ever get a, a release? Did it get a release date and price or no? 2022. Uh, it got pushed 22? to 2022. Okay. I can't see it being uh, like a full price game. I hope not, at least. Do there, are there games usually full price? Uh, no. Okay. Anna Perner? No, not nah. Yeah, and it's uh, PC, PS4, I, PS5. I don't believe. You know, it's you know what though? I can see this game being full price because it's only launching on PlayStation and PC though. Because the other games came on like Game Pass, shit like that. So I don't Oof. know. Would, and I, I, be, I feel like Sony pushing this game too. Like that'd heavy. be a fail. That, I don't know, man. That, that, would, would, that, would, hurt, that would hurt. That would that hurt. That publisher game, doesn't do full price games though. They don't, but <laughs> Sony do, <laughs> and they 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 really promoting this shit like it's an exclusive. So I don't it know, looks man. Good, though. It looks cool. I yeah. mean, I'm, I'm more excited about Keenan myself personally, though. Yeah, I, I think this game is popular because. It's like touching a demographic of cat owners. That's really what I think it is. Like, you know, the, the internet be going crazy about cats, you know, cat videos and all that shit. And I don't think there's ever been a, a game where you play as a cat. Like, at least not in this form. So um, that I think that, that might be the, the hype about it. That might be it. Like, it's just cat lovers. You know? Yeah, man. Okay. But yeah, so that game looks cool. Uh, what else we got? Um, uh, Mortal Kombat is sold. Uh, Mortal Kombat 11, 12? What the fuck are they up to? <laughs> 11. It's 11. Okay, it, it's Mortal Kombat 11, and it's sold 12 million copies. So, uh, that's really good. Uh, yeah, I'm hyped about, about that. Yeah, I'm, hey, I'm hey, about that's, that's, that's about to be the top selling Mortal Kombat game ever, yeah. Uh, it could be, and you know what I'm saying? That's something that I'm going to be playing on Fight Night tonight, um, Mortal Kombat 11, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but, um, I, you know, look, I know a lot of people don't really like Mortal Kombat 11 because of the because of lack of the speed between uh, Mortal Kombat 10. Uh, but I, 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 the visuals just in Mortal Kombat 11 is just so, so far ahead. I, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I'm just so impressed with, with what they did with, with, uh, what another realm did with the game. And it just makes me excited about the rumors of what we've heard about them could be working on a Marvel game. And then of course, if yeah. anybody's played the injustice series, uh, the injustice games, that game looks absolutely phenomenal too. So no, another realm is, is amazing. I, I, it's a, it's an amazing studio. I love everything that they do. Yep. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> hub. PUBG might be going uh, free to play, according to reports. Um, and you know that's okay because you know they had their uh, they had their time where they were the most played game. You know, um, a few years back, made a lot of money. Uh, so there ain't nothing wrong going to, going free to play now. I will say I installed the game like a few months ago because I was missing it, and uh, I uninstalled it ten minutes later. Like I I don't know. I think. I I just think I can't play battle battle uh, royale games anymore. It's nothing. I don't think it's anything against PUBG itself. I think I just think I'm completely burned out on any battle royale game at all. I can't play them anymore. I'm, I'm with you on that, BG. I, I totally agree with that. 
I'm not, that, never been really the biggest fan, but yeah, yeah I never fallen fell into the hype of battle royale games. Yeah, you know, that's I don't fuck with the genre like that. That's why I'm like, that's one of the reasons why I'm really excited about Halo, right? Because for a long time, because of these battle royale games, a lot of these multiplayers were these these like long commitments where just to play one match, you got to sit down for like to just especially if you want to win, okay. I got to commit to playing this for like half an hour to 45 minutes. I might reach the end of the end of the, ma- the the game and I still might lose. Right? And I got man, that shit is like that shit is crazy. You play 45 minutes and it was only one match. That's why I miss games like like Halo, like, you know, 10, mm-hmm. 10 minutes, you know, quick done, get into the next match. Another 10 minutes like and and it got like conventional classic modes. Yeah, I've, I've been missing a lot of games like that because a lot of multiplayer games have been straying from that and been a whole bunch of, you know, weirdo shit and weird, weirdo modes and shit I ain't into, so. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, like for real, because, like, yo, multiplayers have abandoned... Like, what's, what's the last new multiplayer game that had, like, a classic mode, like, Capture the Flag? Like... You realize, like, Capture the Flag, like, was completely missing for years from a multiplayer game? Like, and that's one of the, that's one of the best modes in a multiplayer. And, like, yeah, that's it's just been abandoned. Halo 5 for so many years, for the last six years. It's just because of that. You're right. I agree. I, I don't have a problem with people playing that, playing... Because I play PUBG. I think it's cool for what it is. But I, when people kind of cap for you know, Xbox uh, doing a Battle Royale mode, I'm just like, like, pump the brakes. Let them do the original, um, uh, you know, do the original stuff that what we've known Halo for, and then if they want to implement that later on, then that'd be, that'd be fine. Yeah, definitely. Um, okay, let's talk about Sean Layden's comments. So, once again, like, I've been a little bit out of the loop, so I don't know the context. I didn't get a chance to read the context of this. I hope you did, Jack. I just know that I definitely quote, did. you did or didn't. I didn't. I didn't. What did he say? Oh, okay. I think well, I, I know one of the quotes he says was cons- consolidation is the enemy of diversity. And he said it's it's very hard to launch a uh, hundred and twenty million dollar game on a subscription service charging nine ninety nine a month. So I think you know, people were saying that he was pointing towards his belief that it's not sustainable. Gate like stuff like Game Pass and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, you know what that first that first statement. What I think he's actually talking about. I don't think he's talking about Game Pass. I think he's talking about Sony. I think he's talking about PlayStation because because you, as you know, PlayStation consolidated a lot. And it actually ended up causing him to lose his fucking job if you think about it. So, uh, yeah. And since PlayStation has consolidated, that one of the main complaints K make if he made it this podcast is the diversity is by way of games that they're bringing out. Um, I feel like he's talking about Sony with that uh, statement. Honestly, could be. He could be. Yeah. And and the yeah. second one. Um, oh yeah. And PS, I forgot when he left, they bought Jim Ryan, and they did change PS Plus uh, PlayStation now to nine ninety nine. Yeah, I don't think I don't think he liked PlayStation now. Like, yeah, that. he was. Uh, he was even liking tweets of people saying they want him back, get Jim Ryan out of office, and all. Oh, yeah, he so. was loving that. He was. He was yeah. That so I, I I I agree with that. By the way. Yeah, as far as the listen, I don't know. Like, as far as like you know, there's always the, the debate of is is Game Pass and subscription ser- services sustainable. I mean, I don't know. I'm gonna be real with you. I I don't know. Like, d- it doesn't seem like it necessarily makes the the owner of sub- of the subscription service a whole lot of money necessarily. But I don't know if it's not sustainable or if it, if it is. I I really don't know. So. Hey, B- BG, can I say something right fast, please? Yeah. Just for a hot second. I know because there's other people who are saying, hey, Casey, you're just talking too much. I get excited because I'm, I'm, I'm appreciative that, that I've been invited to the podcast, but I got to say this. Listen, for all this hate stuff that's coming in through the, through the uh, chat, stop it. The Weapon Wheel has been one of the, one of the most prominent uh, black podcasts that's been out there. You know what I'm saying? And even regardless of who I've been affiliated with, with Next Gen and everybody else, I've always respected what these guys have done and appreciate what they've done to help out not only for other podcasters or, or people who's coming in here like Kids Move and others. 
you have, you know what I'm saying, that type of hate rhetoric is ridiculous. And you have to put Weapon Wheel up there with like the Iron Lords and with everybody else who's there, even with even with BGST, regardless of what everybody on this panel feel, is that you know, when people of color comes out here and do things like this and they're and they're professional and they've got to a level that is fantastic that that's that's high and people listen to them, you have to pay them respect and homage. Stop with the bullshit. That is garbage. Take stop with the hate. You know what I'm saying? This is a quality podcast and people need to go ahead and do and need to do better than that than coming out here and just say any type of garbage like that. You know what I'm saying? I commend what everybody on this podcast does, regardless of what I feel about, if I disagree with them on the uh, concept of whatever they feel about Xbox. But when it comes to just having a qu quality content without the without the you know the extra garbage, they do a solid job. Give them their props. And so BG to the rest of you guys, I, I, you know what I'm saying I have to bow down and give you guys homage for that, no doubt. Appreciate. Hey, that, I sir. appreciate. It. Yeah, we appreciate that. Thank bro. you, Bond. Bond, I, I, you know, I take that all back. Here, I forgot who you have on the podcast. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we appreciate Thank you, that, sir. Man. No, no, no doubt, no doubt. No, I, I got a bunch of love for you guys. You know what I'm saying? No doubt about it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, regardless of it, but it, it is, you know, yeah. um, you guys were one of the first to do it. On top of, you know, and I know, like, you know, saying I know I'm saying the name Next Gen. You guys have been doing this, and there's been really a lot of great content creators that has been birthed from you guys giving that, giving giving these people that's been out here like with me with Next Gen, getting that platform to get out there. They haven't you do you guys haven't built these guys talents like Nick uh, like Kid Smooth because Kid Smooth I've been knowing Kid Smooth from way we game here, but um, but you give them a platform to where so many people have access to, and that should be commended and and people need to stop doing that man stop stop with the hate let's just talk about games man have fun thank you man appreciate that no doubt okay um oh, this dude was wilding in this shit what the yeah, fuck I, I yeah we're, we're just getting a lot of uh <laughs> spammers and trolls they, they're saying know, it's uh crazy. yeah they're saying it's for tanga incels who know it could be it could be well either uh, way i don't care we, we know um, uh so some details on ghosts of tsushima um, so, I mean, I think they mentioned this before that is, there's going to be horse armor, new skills and abilities, new enemy types with new ability, with new abilities. Uh, you can, uh, there's full 3d audio and, you know, dual sense support. Um, it's a, the, the, the Iki Island, um, is similar length to the first act and first region of the main game. Um, so that's a good length. And as far as the, the, the lip sync, because, you know, some people were, you know, against uh, having against the lip sync being part of the uh, the upgrade, the twenty dollar upgrade. Uh, so they said, this is what they said. They said like the they pretty much said the PlayStation Five SSD is what makes the lip sync possible. This, they said we're capable of putting lip sync, the Japanese lip sync, in because the in because the SSD uh, lets us take some of our cutscenes that on the original version of the game they had to pre render. And now we can do them live. So they say it's the hardware difference. That's like the head of um, uh, Sucker Punch said that. Y'all buying that? I don't know what you say. Uh, so are you buying? Are you buying what he said about? Oh, you talking about buying? Am I buying a game? Yeah. Well, oh, are you buying his his reasoning <laughs> for for why uh, lip sync is oh. is part of the upgrade? I mean, I don't. Honestly, bro, I don't see a reason to lie about this shit. I mean, this is the thing about Sucker Punch, right? They were willing to give you a whole free mode. They gave you a whole free, um, the the whatever the Legends DLC. So why would they go from giving you all this free extra content you could replay the game and co-op to saying, yeah, we can't do the? They said the reason is doing it because they are rendering. Uh, they're doing real time rendering on the PS5 version. That's why the lip sync is actually synced up this time. I don't know why they would go from doing all this goodwill shit to lying about trying to get an extra ten dollars out of y'all. Like I don't I don't get the, the end goal or I don't I don't get that play. So I don't know why people are so upset. I mean if the lipstick is that bothersome to you, upgrade mm -hmm. the PS5 version. If it's not, play the PS4 version. It's already 4K60 on the PS4 version if you play it on PS5. So if that lipstick is that important to you, pay the fucking ten dollars, man. I I don't get the outrage personally, but that's just me. Uh, yeah, there's, so th regarding the spammer in the, in the chat, 
this account, this bot, whatever it is, YouTube. Took oh, they away, still doing it. Wow. Yeah, YouTube took away the ability. You know how you can usually click on somebody's name in the chat and like go directly to their channel and block them from there? Like that YouTube took away that ability for whatever reason. I don't know why, but like I I can't even go. You might need to make more people uh moderators. Uh, that that continuously come into your show and listen uh, to it yes. and support you guys. I mean, so I got a bunch of mods. People that. said I, I'm gonna need to mute that word. Yeah, I got mm-hmm. I got to go to the settings. Oh yeah, you need to mute, mute that word too. Yeah, I got it in my podcast. Yeah, it's a. It's I a didn't even know you, you can mute words on YouTube. I didn't Hell know. yeah, 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 yeah. I had yeah. to. Yeah, I'm. All three podcasts. Hey, y'all come to the comment section. Y'all should be proud of y'all selves. I'm about to do it in I'm about to do it in a second. Shout out to y'all, man. I'm about to do it in a second, but uh, okay, let mm-hmm. me uh, move on to the next thing. Uh, yeah. what else? Uh, man. Oh, Activision. So we there's more stories from the Activision Blizzard um, scandal. Uh, some crazy stories coming out this week uh, on top of what we heard last week. So, so uh, you know, there was an Activision walkout. Like, all the employees did a walkout in response to all the you know, the racist, sexist, uh, abusive, and toxic culture that's been happening at Activision. Um, they did a walkout. There was all, we also learned that <laughs> Activision employees, they had what they called the Bill Cosby room. Um, and crazy. this was like, they had literally a picture of Bill Cosby on the wall. It was like, like almost like a Bill Cosby shrine. We all know what Bill Cosby did allegedly whatever you want to believe but we all know what bill cosby uh you know is accused of and they also said that men at the, at the lactation rooms in activision men men would walk into the breastfeeding breastfeeding room and just stare at the women breastfeed their kids i don't know how this type of shit was was how they got away with this shit like this it sounds insane um and bobby kodak you know ceo of activision um, he did issue like this really late apology and said because they they released a, 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 an initial response and he said that first response was tone deaf in which they pretty much said, oh, this behavior and all this, all these allegations, this is old shit. This is stuff that happened years ago. So they claim, which even even if it happened years ago, still fucking crazy. Um, but he apologized for that and said they're, you know, he, you know, the PR response. But um. Yeah, it's just getting crazier and crazier with the stories from Activision. What do y'all think about this Bill Cosby sh- shrine and, you know, dudes walking into the lactation room and looking at women and all this wild shit? Okay, uh, for me personally... Oh, okay, go ahead, Bob. No, 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 yeah. uh, okay, I just wanted to... I, I want to kind of be brief because I had some people saying, like, talking too much, I'm sorry. Uh, um, I apologize to everybody. On no, the, no, you could. You could. Chat. Um... Okay, so like you know, um, you know, a shameless plug. I do my podcast, the GRG podcast, and so like I've, I've I have always make sure that I include women into the podcast, and um, you know, and then so I I brought you know the ladies from game uh, from from a uh, WWG uh, gaming from uh, you know I'm saying from Grown Wind Gaming, and 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 then of course you know I knew we got a lady D, and then so I just wanted to hear a woman's perspective about this whole Activision st- situation. And listen, just from just for me, from what from my profession, I'm a mixer driver. You know what I'm saying I you know I, I'm out here in the streets, and it's it's more male dominated, and so that when there are women that do come, uh, I, I do I have experienced different situation on top of the whole racism situation as well. So it's like, listen, Activision, they know, they knew this. They knew what was going on. You, you may be mad at the company that, that you hired to go and, and look into this and uh, you would hope that they would report to you. But what it shows that it was so bad and so toxic that they had to send it to the state of California. So then for, 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 for instead of you trying to uh, try to make it right, the first thing that you do is then, you know, the CEO, I believe, comes out and says, oh, well, we'll just send uh, money out to the Negro College Fund and to, you know, people in minorities and we'll send a million dollars here and then we got other people that's going to match this and all that. That is the, the first sign right there that you admit in guilt. If you didn't feel that your company was involving into this situation, it doesn't matter about the color, but it's just a matter about the discrimination aspect of it. 
And that to me is where the problem lies is that where, and, and, and you know, so listen, I've been, I've been doing this game and stuff for a really long time. And, but I play sports. I've, I've been in a whole different element compared to when I've seen people that has been just basically nerd. If you've been in the gaming, if you've been into gaming back in the eighties and nineties, if you start talking about gaming or anime or Japanimation, however you want to call it back, like we call it Japanimation back in the days in the eighties and nineties, you would get your ass beat. They would, they would, there would be people that would literally just beat you up because they say that that was some crazy weird stuff that you're talking about. So people didn't really talk about it. So when you get these people that was in that element. And then most of these people in the gaming industry, they get in there and then all of a sudden you give them money. Then they're on this whole, this whole aspect of like, you know, <laughs> like Dave Chappelle, like, you know what I'm saying? They should have never gave these cats, they should have never gave these motherfuckers money because that they, they don't know how to act about it. And so then they jump in and then they, they want to be aggressive. They want to come out there because if you think about it, uh, when you when you're a game developer, and you, you know, and most people can brag about, oh, I got this job doing this, I got this job doing that. And then when you brag to a female and you want to say, oh, well, I'm a game developer. Most women in the '90s is not going to hear, is not going to look at that as that that's that's prominent. You know that that's going to be the future. Now you fast forward to this point, and you see that it's it's you know, gaming is is the is the biggest entertainment in the world. What it what it shows is that some of these people have not evolved and matured enough and they still act like Neanderthals and want to treat women to this degree. And that is unacceptable. And Activision knew this because this was back, these these uh reports was from back from 2018. And to me, Activision, um Blizzard, they should have known better. And 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 I'm pretty sure that they've already known, just like with any business. They already knew about some of this stuff that was getting leaked out. They thought that they could they could wash it away. They could get a hold of it and they could just get, you know, try to get rid of the other people. But the biggest problem is that it's just like with policing. Um, if you have a bad cop that does something negative, you need to uh, you need to put that that cop in a position to where they can never go to some go somewhere else and that they're blackballed to where they can never get another job again. But what they do instead is that they send that cop over to somewhere else and then that environment still happens. And it looks like because of the networking situation that we get into, you know, especially in the United States, is that they, they, they maybe they move that person to another department or somewhere like that. And then that's, that same cycle will still keep going and evolving. And then it turns into what this is. And it's really yeah. unfortunate. And they're going to pay the price eventually. And and listen, that's, that's another reason why... I, installed uh, my uh, Call of Duty is because of the fact that the, the, when the women on uh, on uh, on GRG uh, was explaining the fact of how they felt and how painful it was for them, then I understand, like, look, this is more, this is bigger than just me playing COD. This is something that needs to be a movement that they need to change overall. Yeah. That's my, yeah. That's my point. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, it's... It's easy for me because I don't. I'm not a fan of COD, in, you know, in the first place. So I can't act like I'm taking a stand on on anything. I do think, you know, some heads need to roll over there at Activision. I will definitely will uh, say that. Um, but yeah, we can uh, move on unless there's any other comments about Activision Blizzard. No, no man. Okay. okay, cool. Um, Landry, you there? Where is everybody? Yeah. I want to ask where the fuck did everybody go, yo? What the hell? So, I'm uh, here. I ain't heard so, much move. Where y'all at, man? This, uh, this Ace Attorney game. What was it? The Great Ace Attorney? Is that what it's called? Yeah, the yes. Great Ace Attorney. The Great Ace Attorney. Um, is so it a Nintendo I, game? No, <laughs> yeah. it's a uh, Cap Capcom it's on, game. It's on anything. It's on anything. Except Xbox. It is? Is it on Xbox? I don't. It came, I thought, it came I thought, to PlayStation. I thought Ace Attorney was literally a, a Nintendo exclusive. It was. It was at first. BG. He's in Marvel vs. Capcom. Yeah. Yeah, I and I thought they, I thought they were just being generous. Oh no, that's that's Capcom. Okay. Um. Yeah, I knew he. They were Capcom, but I thought it was just a game that was only on. Uh, like a Nintendo. collab effort or well, something. They, or, I think they yeah. just released it on PlayStation. And and honestly, no, it was it was a uh, Game Boy Advance slash DS series for the longest until. Recently, I guess so. Yeah, and, yeah, and like people only picked him in in, in Marvel vs. Capcom three to be like a a troll. It was like a troll character, you know. But um, so I see that this game came out to 
rave reviews is like averaging uh over a I think it was like a high 80 low low 90. It was at an 88 when I when I first posted it. I don't know where it's at now. Okay. And um yeah, it's like <laughs> it's funny because when they showed this, I forgot what show it was. I think this was the game E3. they showed. Yeah, I, I tweeted, oh, who the hell plays these Ace Attorney games anyway? And it's not that I, I was saying that they don't sell because apparently Are you, they you sell. Are you fish for drama again, BG? I, was, I never fish for drama. I yeah, just, man. I, oh, man. You know what you was doing, bro. I just, I just don't know the demographic that plays these games. Like, who, who are they? Like, what are their names? What are they? Like, tell me about these people who, who buy, because you, you don't, in, in everyday conversation, you never hear nobody say like, oh man, you know, I can't wait for that Ace Attorney game. So, but yeah. it comes out and sells like maybe like 500K off the rip. I'm like, so who are these people? I don't know them. Yeah. But I will say most of the people who, who do like, like this game, they have anime profile pics. I don't know if that says something. I'm just putting it out there. Well, why do you, why do you guys have such this weird like disdain for anime profile pictures? I, I never no, understood they that. Be weird, but I ain't gonna I ain't gonna correlate that with people that like Ace Attorney. Bro. You know why, Blandrew? And literally, all you guys have animated. Well, most of you guys had animated profile. You had BG doing the Naruto hand sign with a bandana on his head. Jack <laughs> Moo holding a, okay, uh, that's, uh, no, that's different though. He's talking about like anime. Uh, like uh, that is different. At least it was so an, an anime profile picture inspired off of Naruto is a okay, but a, it, it's a it's Naruto okay, profile it's, picture you know is why, not you know okay. What, you know why that's more acceptable? Because it was actually in BG's likeness. The dudes we talking about, they'll never show their face. They, they don't want to show their face. They be little, like it be dudes, and and their profile pic would be an, a little girl. I'm like, huh? Most most yeah. people, I ain't gonna say most, but they they them the type of people that be using the n word. Uh, Defending that weirdo anime games. That be them dudes, bro. Oh, you that's mean the, the racist PC gamers? Yeah, man. That's that, them dudes be having a man. Well, if, if you have an anime, and look, it's not even just in the gaming community, in every community, the sports community, whatever community you're in, the anime avatar people are the losers. It just is what Facts. it is. Facts. It's not just gaming, it's universal. But uh, back to you, yeah, li listen up. I'm not trying to get on the profile, the anime profile pick community again. Um, I had, I, I literally blocked over, I think hundred, over a hundred of them that day. Uh, <laughs> not going to lie to you. Because, it, oh it, my God. Oh, I, I, I hate to stay on this. Point. I hate to stay on this, but they called each other their mutuals. Did y'all see this? No. Wait, 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 what's wrong with mutuals? What's wrong with saying that? What the fuck is like I, I understand they, what the, that's like saying friend, but on yeah, a I, I yeah, I understand man. what that means, but you know, like in a cult where they refer to each other by a certain word, that's what it, it felt like. A, it sounds irregular. Yeah, because nobody in real life, oh, when you oh, what's good, bro? This is my mutual. Your mutual, huh? The, the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> what do you mean your mutual? That's some cult shit. I was How like, about when they call each other Big Papa. Bro, that, that's weird, like Daddy Frit and stuff like that. But I, I don't oh, see that. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Well, you know, I know one person who wasn't calling him Daddy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Another uh, person you guys. Uh, another I, I, person I, I, you guys. Another person you guys allowed on the podcast, but you know whatever. That is well, true. It's well, but you know that, like, that whatever. Is, that is true. That was a BG. That was not me. Mm. It was definitely a BG invite. They they saying I'm reaching. Listen, who? Um, yo, yo, um, I, I, I imagine you out with your boys, and and he like he you meeting up with his other friend, and he be like, hey, this is my mutual. <laughs> what the hey, fuck? Hey, 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 I'm overreacting though. Hey, BG, this dude yeah. uh, anime list. He saying we being ignorant about the anime pictures, right? This this mm. the same dude that that, that uh, tweeted you and said seafood only for women. <laughs> It's the same dude. Oh, that's yo. the same one? Oh, man. Yeah. The, the Raven profile picture? Yeah, it says seafood. <laughs> like, seafood is gay, but if we yeah. criticize anime, yeah, come on, man. Yeah, man. That tweet went viral. You know Kev on stage made a video about that tweet? Bro, that shit go viral, like, every couple of months, bro. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. The, he, he didn't even start that. I have been hearing that, mainly from women, but I have heard that quite a bit in my life. That was like mm -hmm. a seafood. You're like, what, is, what the fuck are people talking about, I think bro? they're just trying to gatekeep seafood for themselves. My mutual... Yeah, they're trying to get all the crab legs. Trifling. Yeah, okay. I, that's how I'm. Uh, I'm gonna refer to my wife as uh, my my female mutual. The fuck, don't do that. 
I, I mean, I'm I'm sure we probably had some stupid phrases we were saying back in the days that our parents probably thought were stupid. Why you can't, so. why you can't say my peers or my... I don't know. Yeah. My I peers mean, is better than my mutual, like, the fuck? I'm just trying to say in, sound intelligent, man. That's all it is, bro. How about my friend? What's so hard about that? I guess they don't consider them friends, man. I mean, they are faceless losers that don't even know anything about each other but being racist. So. These would be the same yes. people using the words like cap trying to talk about people using mutuals. That's not the same. That is not the same. It is the same. No, it's no. Because mute, you're referring to a person in like an intimate matter. It's weird. Mm -hmm. Like if I was like, yo, it's my mutual blandro, people would think I don't like women. (laughs) (laughs) My mutual. Oh, man. Wow. Uh, Yeah, I'm going to start using that just to to be funny. Uh, That's, okay, that's no moon. That's No Moon, that's the name of the studio, uh, is a AAA studio, a new AAA studio, game studio in, in LA, and it has talents, former talents from Naughty Dog, Bungie, Santa Monica, uh, Sony Santa Monica, and others, and their first game will be a single-player action-adventure title, and it's funded by Smilegate, who are apparently um, the same people who funded Crossfire, and I think... They've been given a budget, I think according to this, of $100 million, which is not nothing crazy in today's time. So, yeah, just wanted to put that out there. Interested to see what game they make. We'll see. I seen Scott Lowe went over there. He was, he was working at Naughty Dog at one point. Oh, where'd he over there too? Okay. Yeah, that bitch. How do you get a gun in Uncharted 4, bro? That, that's the, I, I, I don't know. Shout mm-hmm. out to Scott Lowe. Yeah. Um, okay. Back for Blood. So the Back for Blood beta uh, details. The open beta will be available on Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, PS5, PS4, and PC on August 5th for people who pre-ordered the game and will last until August 9th. For those who didn't, there's still a chance to get into the open beta via the Back for Blood website, which is how I did it, uh, when it continues from August 12th until August 16th. The beta supports cross-play and cross-gen, and the full game is out on October 12th. I'm actually looking forward to Back for Blood, and uh, it, it could be... Because, like I said, I, I, I didn't like Left 4 Dead. Like, I'm one of those people who did not like Left 4 Dead. I think that's one of the most overrated games, but something about Back for Blood just looks better need, and more uh, fun to me. It just, something about it just looks better to me. So, I, But it could just... It, it could be like it looks good, and then once I play it, I hate it just as much as Left 4 Dead. It's very possible. Very possible. I don't know. But I look forward to um, it. Yeah, I'm going to have to wait on that beta because I ain't pre-ordering the game. I know the game's going to be on Game Pass day one. Oh, here we go. <laughs> hey. Shout out to Game Pass. Shout out. Uh, okay, I think we're almost done. Um. Oh, Dead Space Remake, they confirmed that. uh, So the Dead Space Remake is going to have content that was cut from the original game. Uh Uh-oh. Interesting. That could be be a good or a bad thing, depending on how they handle it, though. I I have faith in... uh, I have complete faith in this. Uh, they, you think they, they, they said other shit too though from like um the comics and like you know they had like side movies just like the, like what Ignition I think was a movie they had mm-hmm. so man, they, they got the blueprint man they got the blueprint y'all know what to do with uh you know with what Capcom did with um you know Resident Evil 2 you just flesh it out make it make it connect y- y'all know what to do man they gave y'all the blueprint I'm not worried um that it? Did I forget any get any uh, from this week? The World Ends With You came out if anybody bought it. I don't know. The World Ends Is that with a you. new game or was that a remake of the old joint? It's a sequel. I mean, yeah, it's a sequel to the original game. Real shit. Yeah. Okay. Oh. And, what did you think uh, of the original game, Blandrew? I didn't like the original game. From a gameplay perspective, I really hated that combat system, so I dropped it. Uh, there's also a PlayStation update. I don't know if it's out now, but it's coming. That will allow trophies to be vertical instead of horizontal, how they are now. Wow. Which hey, BG, did you play the Ascent? I haven't played any any. I, I bought it, and and oh yeah, that's oh yeah. We didn't talk about the fucking Ascent yet. So the Ascent came out, 
and it, it came out to less than stellar reviews. It's like at a, it's in the it's in the sixties on Xbox and in the seventies on uh, PC. And I bought the game, and and I, you know, I'm still I'm still excited to play it. You know, once I get my setup all done and everything like that, I'm excited to play it because to me it looks really good. I don't That's know exactly. I, I don't know exactly what's bad about it. I can't, because I haven't really listened to the reviews. I haven't read any. So I don't know what they said is bad about it. Yeah. I just know it looks good from, from the gameplay I see. But what, what are y'all thoughts on it? Y'all play it. I got a good name for it before we go on. The Descent. <laughs> but the downward incline. What, what y'all think about that one? Yeah, you yeah, played it um, smooth. Yeah, so um, honestly, I've been playing it for actually... Since um Tuesday or Monday, um, but the game itself, I mean, th there are faults with it, but I I found these faults when I tried to play co-op. That most of my time has been solo. So anybody trying to play co-op is probably not the best experience. Um, I thought it would be hashed out in a day one patch, but it's a lot of like glitching, losing saves. Uh, at least one character if you're playing with uh, multiple people is usually an issue where somebody's either getting stuck in the menu or just uh, freezing up. Um, as far as uh, most of my gameplay, I have probably three hours in co-op, but the, my 17 hours I have has been my solo playthrough. And um, it's been near flawless. I mean, I had like, I did have like maybe two crashes. Um, the only thing I would say that this game lacks it where it shows is it's like that it's, its limits is that the customization is is very very basic anemic customization. Um, as far as gameplay though, and story, and like in the design and everything, everything else like is I feel like there's things that they overachieved on, and then there's things that they underachieved on. Like they underachieve on like for like for your standard RPGs, customization is like key, right? So they underachieve in in that area. But when you, you go to design and level of deep tell and gunplay and gameplay is like oh okay they, they're punching above their weight from what i expected from um the studio but throughout the game i don't see i'm playing and it's like and maybe i need to sit down and read some of these reviews i'm not finding what's making this game a 60 rated game like that i, I have yet to see like if it's if it's people trying to play co-op and that's it and they're they're killing it for that i was like okay then maybe that's it but then you look at pc and it has more performance issues on PC, whether you're doing DX11 or DX12, than the console version. Like, so I'm like, what? Like, so I don't know why the people who rated on PC, why it's, why it's got a favorable review, but you look at the user score on PC is lower. On Xbox, the critical score is lower, but the user score is higher. It, it's, it makes no sense. It's one of the most It makes perfect sense. Because people game. say the gameplay is much better on a mouse than a controller. I, I, disagree with that 100% because I well, got it that's on what the, That's what the reviews are saying. Well, I, I, I played it on both. So, I mean, I got it on both. So, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Um, that's what all the reviews are saying. The game definitely plays better on a mouse and a keyboard. Especially mm -hmm. when aiming at enemies. Yeah, game top, runs full. It's yeah. it, yep. top down. Yeah. Yep. It's a nice symmetric game. Yeah. But then, so again, the, what, about the, what about the reviewers that, you know, maybe be, uh, that, that might be more uh, PC oriented than they are console. I, I just don't. I, I don't. I don't see the difference really, to be honest with you, because I've, I, I, I've, I haven't played it. Piece, uh, you know, mouse and keyboard. But I know it, it's, it's no, no. Wait, you uh, haven't played it, mouse and keyboard? No, but I, but mm, I, but just playing. It really, so how are you gonna make your comments if you never well, played the no, mouse no, and no, keyboard? No, 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 just because of this, because I played it on PC and I played it on, I played it on a, on, on a, a, a controller on PC and I played it on console and there's really not that big of a difference or contrast and the game plays flawless with that. The, the, I don't, the, we haven't seen even with reading with reviews that I've seen that the game plays bad on a controller. Now it may play better on, on mouse and keyboard, but, but that's just with, but, but hold on. But that, that's just generally with almost anything. If you want to compare it with mouse and keyboard. No, I wouldn't say anything. Well, I said most. Ten point difference most. in the review score. I do not see where. Yeah, I, I, I don't what, see that. I'm, I'm struggling to find where the game the is. But is it right. a game? Is directly. But is it, uh, 
Dude, it plays like any other freaking shooting game. But, but I don't right. think it's the same. I don't think it's the same reviewers. Also, I don't think. It, I don't yeah. even think it has the same amount of reviews. That's, right. Yeah, that's the. If it was like a, the same guy reviewing the PC and the Xbox version, but he gave the Xbox version a much lower score, then you would have a point. But these are completely different publications and different reviewers, so not that's much. Yeah, but I've never seen a large gap. What, like, what do you have? A, what do you think? Have a point of one play is objectively better though. Like that, that's no, what I'm no. saying. Like I mean, I know they both. If if they, it was all about the bugs, then I can understand that because there are bugs, like what Kids Move was saying. But I just, but other than just when you play in the game on single player, um, no, I mean it, it still play, it still plays really well on uh, controller. So and then to get it to 64, I I I I'm not I'm not getting it. I'm not buying it at all. And then graphically, it looks absolutely stunning uh, on PC and on uh, the Series X. So I just don't, you know. Now, if 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 there's if somebody was playing on the Series S, then that could be a different. You know, what I'm saying I have a Series S, but that's in the front room in my well, room. Well, that's the, the same settings. It's just that 1440p. Yeah. It's so like, it's I, not mean, even like yeah. A, I mean, I mean. People on people on PC might have just enjoyed it better. That might have just came down to that, you know, for, for different reasons. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm I mean, Angry it. Centaur Gaming reviewed it. He said it, it, he said it's much better on the mouse. Okay, and that, and that might be. I, I don't know. I mean, that what I'm saying though, for me playing it on the PC on controller, it still feels solid. And when you play it on the on the Series X, it's still solid. So you know, My I thing mean, is, if, even if you eliminate, yeah. all right. So say whatever it does play, say it plays better right. on PC. Okay, so what makes the console version back? I'm I'm struggling to find what. Oh uh, yeah, right, sixty four rating. Killed the I game agree. because I'm like nothing really apparent now. If it's solely based on the bugs, but remember the console and the PC version share the same exact fucking bugs. It's the right. same exact game on every platform that it's on. So it's like. What real? I don't know what makes the game bad. Usually, when you see a game that's rated like a sixty or fifty, you play and be like, "Oh, okay, this is trash," right? But I'm like, "Okay, when do I get to the trash part?" Maybe Xbox reviewers didn't like it. Well, I, from what I've seen from people that's trying to, you know, whatever you want to call it, damage control or whatever, I've seen that people say that with the console version, uh, there are less reviewers, and then uh, since there's less reviewers, there's people that. Uh, there's that one uh, European uh, site that that gave it a thirty. There's that game is not a thirty. Yeah, it, I thought that was not. crazy. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, I, th I thought that it, it was Metro, and I feel like Metro has done shit like that before, just giving games mm -hmm. like crazy low scores. I will say that. Like, right, like yeah. game. Yeah, game should not be given a hundred all the time, and it should not be given a zero. There's no game. I don't care even if there's games that I don't care about. No game should be given a zero because there's there's got to be something within that game. Unless it doesn't that, work, right? That is, if it's if it's broken, then okay. But no, uh, the the ascent it works. It looks fantastic for 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 only fifteen people that worked on this game. It it, it is one of the best looking games that I've seen uh, on consoles, and uh, you know it, it's it's fabulous on on PC. So I, I don't know, I don't get it. Like if somebody said seventy five, I'm not tripping. I personally think that it's close to an eighty, but but you know it, it, that doesn't really matter. It's just it's just all about. I think that you know giving it a thirty, it's that's just ridiculous to me. Okay, uh, yeah. When I play it, I'll definitely you know let let y'all know what I think. Um, I mean, what, what were y'all expecting from Game Pass, though? Come on. Oh, <laughs> oh man. man. Don't. Let's not get into it. Uh, let's not get into it. It's late. It's late. It's like, it's, like, it's like an artificial cap on these Game Pass titles. Oh, no. No, because Flight Sim just came out on Xbox. Flight right. Sim was on was Doesn't not, matter. Was when on did it come PC? out on Xbox? When did it Hold come on. out on Xbox? When did it come oh. out on Xbox? Ooh. When did it come out on Xbox it console? Wasn't right, game that that game come out. on Let's Game go. Pass. So that's my point. What about Gears right, what Tactics? About Anno? Anno just came out too. And that's yeah. like an 83 metal meta. Anno was like... BG, what Anno. game is this on the stream, yo? That's Team Fortress. Are you man. serious? It's Team TFC. Oh, it's a PC game, Jack. That's, that's Actually, why you... I'm sorry. I know, I know what Team Fortress 2 is. I'm just saying the graphics are horrible. I'm used to calling it Team Fortress Classics, but yeah. Uh, a game like um, Flight Simulator sold two million copies before it even hit console. So like, you can't just say like these big budget games are ever good. When, 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 when has there it ever been a Flight on Simulator on console on PC, before? Though. But it my point, my Pass point Pass is, Pass. they weren't just going to make a game the scale of Flight Simulator and put it directly 
to Game Pass. They did do it. Why, 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 why wouldn't they? Isn't that why why wouldn't they? All their first party games are going to Game yeah, Pass Day One. Yeah. yeah, but how many of them are of the scale of Flight Sim? Flight Sim, it was on PC last year. Yeah, but it I wasn't mean, Game I mean, Pass. You got Halo and Forza. And Forza yeah, Five, Halo's coming out. Forza's yeah. coming out. Yeah. About all those games are going to be Game Pass right. Day now, One. We, we better hope those turn out. I mean, for, it's, it's impossible to rule Forza. Uh, it's racing. The, I mean, Xbox is going to have 390 Metacritic games by the end of the year, and they're going to have like two games. But you year said the Ascent one getting above an 88? Yeah, that was my only, but that's because these niggas screwed cool. me. For the, the, Ascent is, the, the Ascent to me is an 88. Okay, Mega, can you tell Smooth for the betterment of Xbox just to say that <laughs> all the games will flop so they'll do well? No, I would not <laughs> say is that. Have, I, I will not give he says listen. these games do good, they do bad. <laughs> I, I will say this that I will not give it the ascent an eighty eight, but I will give it the uh, the seventy eight to an eighty. Well, seventy seven to an eighty. I, it, it, it's yeah. it's de- it, I think that's a fair score for the ascent it, because of the bug aspect of it. Um, if you want to add, you know, add the whole situation with the mouse and keyboard, okay, cool. But no, the ascent is a really good quality game. Uh, there, there's no doubt about it. It's fun. It's it's it, if anybody's played uh, Smash TV. This is what this game reminds me of, just with fantastic graphics, and you know that's that's how I look at it. Oh, yeah, but Xbox is ki- but Xbox is going to be killing it, and and Forza Forza is going to rake. Forza's always been a ninety. Uh, Forza Horizon's always been ninety, so it, it's definitely going to hit ninety again. Uh, Flight Simulator is beautiful, and it's the first time it's ever been on consoles. Absolutely stunning. I've put about ten hours into it, um, you know, and I've never. Good, and, I- and, I appreciate it's not that. a game that I'm yeah, it's not a game that I've capped like a cap for. I just thought that like I'm intrigued because my wife is really into it because she's she's into navig- navigation. Smooth um, because, because her dad's a pilot. So you know, yeah. Because, smooth, because how many her, hours you got flight sim. I probably got since its release, probably two hours. How, that, did you have problems getting off the ground? No, no. I had a problem landing though. Yeah, I had problems landing. <laughs> But you get, that's what the training's for. So, you know. Fuck it. I, 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 was, I thought I was coming in, but I was coming in hot as soon as the shit touched the ground. Fucking nose dived. Imagine being on a plane, <laughs> 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 being <laughs> piloted by Smooth. Oh my God. One, mo- one mode that game should have, especially like if you're driving like commercial liners, it should be like a spectator mode for like people to fly in your plane or your flight. Yeah, I, mean, I guess so. That that probably might be something that will come through because there's some uh, digital content that's going to be coming because they're going to do fighter jets. Uh, there's already mods that's going that's been transferred over, uh, I believe, or well, that's pay going out the ass for those things. So, well, the the stuff that we've been getting here that I've that I've downloaded has been free uh, with the with the Tokyo, which I had no idea Tokyo was that big and massive. Like now, I really want to go and, and check out Tokyo. It looks beautiful. You ain't going to anytime soon with the. Uh, oh yeah, not with the not with the Rona. No, Rona's yeah, I off. I was yeah. supposed to go there last summer, but the trip got canceled. Yeah, but no, Flight Simulator is 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 a marvel into its own right. Um, regardless of what some people think about, like you know, Outriders or the D and D game, um, they're they're still fun. Game Pass is now is now kicking in into gear, and then now after like I believe into when we get to August with uh. Uh, Hades and then with uh, Psychonauts and then whatever else that they're going to be doing special going in and then back for blood and then of course with Halo and, and, and Forza and now it's, it's it's a gear it's a gear and it's back it's, for it's blood needs to be on Game Pass because that game is dead on arrival if, if it's not I don't I really no, don't think so Bob game. I really don't think it will be but oh and and there is uh they released a trailer I think this p- last uh, past week for uh, World War Z Aftermath, which honestly looks good to me also. Like, I didn't play the original. Well, so World War Z, the only difference between World War Z and World War Z Aftermath, I, I think it's just more content. I think they, they still give you the full game. It's just more content. And, and Aftermath, look, is really looking good to me. So there's, there's a lot of these uh, three, these, uh, three or four player uh, co-op shooters coming out. War Wars: The Aftermath, Back for Blood, Aliens, uh, Fire mm-hmm. Team. Um, that the one made by uh, the uh, Arcane, the one made by uh, Avalanche that we haven't seen. Like this is they they just throwing a whole bunch of these out there right now. So yeah, it's popping out there. 
All right, so that's that's the show. Um, I think we got everything. I think we touched on everything. Yeah, we gotta read super chats. Oh yeah, read them super chats. Uh, let's get through those bristly and do these outro because I got a birthday dinner. All right. Uh, I'm getting a boil. Oh, see food. Oh, you know it's a woman, BG. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We got- we got King of Games 405. He said, Kids Move will now have to be careful because Halo Infinite spoilers are all over Twitter, and now people will want to get him because of that spoiler. We have Monk Larry. He says, Smooth tweeted, Joel dies after the spoilers came out. I don't know if that's true or not. No, I think that's false. I don't that's know. false. How do, you, how do you think that's false? Do you, did you do it or not, Smooth? No, I don't believe I did something. Because I was very uh, calculated with the stuff I was saying. Oh, oh, oh you're calculated. Okay. Yeah, because the thing is, I, the thing is, uh, thing is I was tweeting all that. I, I never watched any or saw actually any of the spoilers. I didn't even spoil it for myself. So um, that's why I was like, people were getting all mad at me. I was like, bro, I haven't even seen any of the spoilers. But All right. We got uh, we got Jack. Oh, I believe that's how you pronounce your name, fam. It's a happy birthday, BG. Long way from the college dorm days. Oh, we got a, uh, we got Mook Gaming. It says, "I want that SSD. Don't mess with me. That PS5 do 30 frames. That SSD kid smooth voice. Did you say that smooth? I said that in Miles in Aloy. <laughs> Miles, uh, Miles in Aloy. <laughs> All right, we got a uh, Boar Boar Country." I believe that's how you pronounce it. It says, you Xbox fans just talk nonsense. Uh, Mark Cerny indicated it'll come later. Plugs when they officially release. If they'll uh, be more clear, it's beta, fool. We got Hoovy186. He said, happy birthday, BG. And K make a line. He ain't never admitted Xbox One flaws. Laughing emojis. Prof to him and WWP crew, though. We got a... Sony should probably release their own um, Sony-branded NVMe drive, too. Oh, they can't jail for that. We got no, a, it doesn't have to be proprietary. Just release your own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A partnership. Yeah. yeah, a partner. We got a we got King Doovy. He says, "Delete your games." Uh, is for single player games. How about COD, Modern Warfare, plus Black Ops, plus Warzone, Battlefield 2042, and GTA 5. How, how much room have for other games? Yeah, that'd be crazy. Um, we got OBJ Junior. He said, "K Mega, what's your PSN, FN?" Oh man, you want to know your PSN, bro? Who? Who has? Did somebody say uh, my name? Guy, guy named OBJ Jr. Yeah, you want to know your PSN account? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm okay. okay. yeah. huh? oh, sorry. I was talking to my wife. She was over here saying, handing me something. You, you, you gonna talk to your PSN better. account though? Yeah, yeah. It's K. It's K. Mega Four Five. It's not. It's nothing changed. Uh, GRG. Yeah, GRG. Uh, IMG. So go ahead and check that out. Yeah. Okay, there you go. go. Yeah. There you go. All right. We got OBJ Jr. again. He said two weeks. Mocha coming back. Woohoo. I don't know where you got that information from, but uh, <laughs> shout, out, shout out to Mocha. Uh, we got Mr. Whitaker. He says, happy birthday, dude. We got B. Arsenal. It says, K-Mega having trouble with an SSD install two steps above changing a light bulb. <laughs> Daddy Phil must have told him told him Xbox neglects that task requires a left-handed screwdriver. Wow. That, well, if that's the case, then I wouldn't have added my <laughs> SSD to my PC. Come on now. Come on we now. can't. We got Nick with Snake, the true antagonist. He says, why is Jack even arguing with a PC dude about expensive upgrades? Oh, man. Good we point, got, Jack. We got G400. I, I don't know why. We got G400. It says, I don't know how people can play like three or four more games at one time. One game at a time for me, or at least one single player and a multiplayer game at a time. Backlog? What is that? Oh, oh, who, who said that? G400. That's G400. Well, we need to make, you might need to mod that, man. I fuss with G400. Okay, we got G400 again. He said, happy birthday, BG. We got Jazzy Jefferson. Happy birthday, BG. And that Ballin video was fire, Blandrew. Okay. I appreciate that. We no, got it's going to take me a couple days to watch. Yeah. We got King Key. So he said, I almost forgot, uh, uh, but shout out to Blandrew. Video was fire. Oh, shit. We got uh, Dutch has a plan. I appreciate that again. There you go. Dutch has a plan. It says, happy birthday, BG, a.k.a. Brother Sam from Dexter. Oh man, we got a uh, Chief Miyagi. He said a troll is sad as hell. His brother must also be his dad, inbred bum. Jeez, what? We got this dude uh, spamming racist shit. Uh, we got Mister Oshido. He says it's smooth doing the Gimme God of War challenge. I would love to see that. <laughs> um, we got A G Crueler. He said, "Damn, that's crazy." I would like to hear what Bond thinks about this frat boy behavior at Blizzard. I already talked about it. It's crazy, Man. and 
Activision will survive because of COD, but Blizzard and their IP, they they might be it might be a wrap. All right. We got same old 23. He said every week BG always fighting a different fan base. LMAO facts. <laughs> that's that's a fact. I didn't I didn't fight anybody this, this week only because I was too busy. We got Black Hawk the Blood Edge. He said, Happy birthday, BG. Hope it's a blessed one. And shout out to everyone on WWP because of y'all. A brother is now on Wired Gaming and it's like night and day speed more than doubled. Appreciate it. We yes, appreciate sir. you, my guy. We got Andrew Wilkins. He says, X Cunts saying Returnal flopped with 560K sales on an 8 million or less install base at the mm-hmm. time. But last three fours, a struggle to reach even a million on a 35 plus million install base. That's Xbox fans. Xbox fans are all equally dumb. You say you man, they sound hurt. That boy every, sound every hurt, man. Go play your game. <laughs> we got we got Max B. He said, "Happy birthday, Big Goomba." Okay. <laughs> we got Jazzy Jefferson. He said, "Thoughts Actually, on I, smooth." I'm not mad at that name. Y'all can start calling me that. Big Goomba. Big okay. Goomba. Yeah. I'm okay. I'm okay with that. Jazzy sure? Jefferson. He said, "Thoughts on smooth playing fi- flight sim with it all as all assist on easy." Is that true? Yeah, it's true. You fucking bum. <laughs> I'm like, I don't like planes, but um, yeah. But that I didn't stop you from like that. that didn't stop you from gas and hyping that game up. Hey, you play game. games or you play Metacritic scores? I play games. I play. See, Meta, you know, I don't play Metacritic score because despite what the Metacritic score say, yeah, I still be playing play trash the shit out of those games. So it's all though. It's my it's my peers, you know, who like the show me those yellow tags, green tags, and red tags who who can't play games. They don't they don't play games. They play mutuals. I mean the you know the PlayStation exclusive completion rate kind of speaks for itself. I didn't even know about that. They only played the games that score high Metacritic. I didn't even know about that till till today, but yeah, it's looking pretty high. I mean, I, I would play a lot of my games if I only played fucking uh games that score 85 or better. No, you wouldn't play any games smooth. (laughs) <laughs> because you wouldn't have that if you don't play. You'd be right. playing Flight Simulator. We got Andrew Wilkins. He said, how is Sony lacking MPs when nothing on Xbox is as big as Factions or GT Sport Online? This new Halo still looks and runs like the Xbox Trash template. Have we yeah. seen anything from Factions? Nope. No. Not I think he's referring to the first one. I think he's referring to the first oh, one. Yeah, you you y'all can't, y'all can't, we can't keep riding the coattails of Factions, man. Yeah, you might as <laughs> well talk about SOCOM. <laughs> Yeah. All right, we we got rocks to nobody. He said, "Happy birthday, BG! Can I get an invite to the Discord? I have been a Patreon member for about a year and a half. Uh, yeah. If, hey, uh, if, if you're a Patreon, you got to connect your Discord account to uh your Patreon account, and it'll automatically let you in. All right. Yeah. So sync. Go to your user settings on desktop and sync your Patreon with your Discord, and it'll automatically give you a joinable server. That's all you got to do. Um. We got Rafe the Emperor. He says, happy birthday, BG. We got Black Star Goat. He says, Xbox fans, stop capping for Flight Sim. It's barely a game. Mm-hmm. We got Verg Brizzle. He said, make K-Mega permanent. Okay. We Ooh, got... there you go, Verg. I like that. Anyway, we... or at least a consultant. I'll take there that. There you go. <laughs> we got Jazzy Jefferson. He said, question for K-Mega. How was oh. the new MLB... The show and what's your favorite current player on the pie train? Uh, like, 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 like I said, you know, I said, yeah, he was trying to throw, me under, throw me under the loop, uh, uh, throw me under the loop on that because I said my boy's name wrong. But I'm a Padres fan, always been a Padres fan. Um, and listen, you know, what I'm saying it's Titus, you know, what I'm saying Titus Jr., that's my main man because he is the GOAT on the team. But my heavy hitter is my boy Trent Christian, that is what it is. And I do play, I played a couple of online games, but because Game Pass and Xbox has been giving us so much. I haven't been playing uh, the MLB the show as much as I, I, I normally would, but I'm there, man. Padres all the way, man. We're going to beat them Dodgers. Let's go. All right. We got King Cove. We said, Blandrew almost convinced me to play it. Good vid. We got Thank DYPXZ. You. He said, Did you teach calculus mathematics, Bod? No. All right. And finally, we have Keith J. He says, Just drop. In to say happy birthday, BG, and I think that's it. I think that's it. Let me make sure. And when this podcast down to four hours, one again, damn. Uh, well, wow. we're not doing an after dark, so uh, yeah, yeah we've been a little minute. Yeah, I think that's it. That's it's it. Three hours. Oh, three hours. All right. All right. Well, shout out to um, 
everybody that came through and watched. Shout out to all the super chats. Appreciate all the birthday wishes on here and on Twitter. Uh, shout out to um, Wonton for the new intro and Alex, aka Mr. Bitches. They killed that shit. I'm gonna put that on. Well, I don't. I, it might be too long to go on Twitter. I'm gonna see. Uh, but yeah, that that thing fire. That thing heat. Y'all gonna hear it every week. Um, I also <laughs> got an I also got an outro. Um, I got an outro song from from uh, from my my uh, my other homie. I'm, I'm I'm gonna start using an outro next week. You, you know what I'm saying. You know, I got connections and I hear, you know, I got connections with musical talent. You know what I'm saying? I got to hear that. I got to hear that. Yes, yeah. sir. Um, but yeah, Wonton, you, you got to retire being an insider, bro. Just, just make raps, bro. Just make raps in the community. Put that, put, tuck that insider shit away. That's not, that's not your lane, my guy. It's not your lane. Okay. Uh, yeah. Outros. Um, Jack. Uh, good, good podcast as we good conversations. I appreciate the guests for coming through. YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Jack Move Johnny, JiggyMerch.com. Get in tune, and uh, we might have a do rags coming soon. So y'all be on the lookout for that. All right. Wait, Jack, what's this Jiggy Records thing you you've been promoting lately? Jiggy Those Records, man. Yeah, we got a lot of people on. We got one time, Mr. Bitches, Red Pe everybody that was on the weapon we intro, Jiggy Records. Yeah. Kid Red Peg made Jiggy. made that beat. That that beat was fire. I ain't gonna lie. That, that, that thing hit, you know what I'm saying? That was one that was one of Red Peg throwaway beats. So you don't even want to hear this shit he really <laughs> oh, that's, that's okay. Okay. That's Wait, that's so is there throwaway. any is there any place we can listen to this stuff or um they been making track one time been making tracks on this YouTube channel, one time soup too. All yeah, I heard shit. his, but because I know you sang like some type of rap song at your PC rant thing, and I was trying to find where you got that from. Oh, that was a grimy diss track that he did against me. We actually we gonna drop a mixtape. We probably do the listening party. Hey man, we doing big things, man. And oh, we got know, another I... donation. Go What'd ahead. you say? No, okay, let me read the donation real quick. We got Rockstar ninety four. He said, "Laughing my fucking ass off." This man said, "Tatis name wrong." Hype beast Padres in third place. Laughing emojis. It, it doesn't matter, man. Let me be country, man. You know what I'm saying? Listen, Fernando. <laughs> how about that, Fernando? How about that? There you go. There you and, go. And uh, you know when I when I approached Wonton, I was like, "Listen here, good buddy. I need I need them bars. I need them metaphors. I need them double entendres." Okay, I need that wordplay. I need all of that. I need the beat to be fine. I, to I, I told him I need all of that, and he came through. He delivered. So shout yes, out, to, shout out to that man, dog. Yeah, had, had the, all the gaming references. Y'all heard the gaming references? Said I put a put a hole in one like like Abby did Joel. They went outside. They ain't they ain't peep. They ain't peep. What? I got to run that. Back. I got to run that back. Man, Alex said. Like, like what? Like, uh, fucking Dutch. I always got the plan. Listen, ah. man. Stop. Stop. That's how come, you how come you ain't hyped the original rapper like this? No, no, don't, don't do that, Blaze. Coco, Coco, <laughs> Coco, Coco, was fire. Don't do that. You didn't hear me play a go and press we. Why? The best fire. line. The best <laughs> line. Was, <laughs> come on, the man. best line has the receipts like Bond. You remember that? Oh, man. Like smooth, yeah. I refuse to admit defeat. Come on, man, y'all, y'all heard oh, that? Oh man, put a put a, a what is that? Put a sword in between your eyes like Jin Sakai. <laughs> it was too much, man. It was too much, man. Oh, also, Jack, I, I, Jack, I've been looking at that SSD. You said that the heat sink is more expensive. Yes. The reason it's more expensive is because that drive is actually on sale on Amazon. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at Western Digital's site. The actual SSDs are more expensive and are twenty dollars less than the heat synced version. Oh, From man. Amazon, the actual thing without it is on sale, but with the heat sync. Oh, you saying okay? You saying so? The base was on sale yeah. right now. So okay. the, oh. the non heat sync version's on sale. So the smart thing to do would just be able to buy that and buy your own heat sync. And don't forget, don't forget. He said, like bland you, I got the switch. You know, like when your mother used to whoop your ass. Like the the Nintendo Switch and the actual Switch Switch. It was too much. It was too much. It was too much. Too much. Too much. And plus, by the way, I got to give myself. You know, I did a little bit of A and R in or something. I don't even know. I don't even know if that. I did a little bit of, bit of producing, little sound effects. I added the Switch sound effect into that joint when he said that bar. Mm -hmm. I also added the golf sound when he said at that Abby Joel line. And add, I added the golf sound. I did that. We need to add you to the to the. Uh... You, you trying to get I down need with some the credit. I need, hey man, just just let me know. And and you need you trying you know, to take credit for turning up the volume of the track, and, acting like he did something. Listen, 
you need to get busy now with your records, man. What you going on? And and when Alex said, you know, you know, I'm down with the six hour road trip. I got that. I went back to the to the video, which Jack deleted because he's embarrassed about even, that time in his life. I don't even know. I don't even know what that was. I'm yeah, saying. Jack is embarrassed about that time in his life. I went and <laughs> I went and downloaded that soundbite where he said, I got that six hour road trip. I went and downloaded that. Put that at that part. Come on, dog. Did you really I, mimic my voice right there? That was great. That was good. Come on, dog. Like, hey, hey, let's do these outros. I gotta get out of here. Um, um, K Mega. Man. Call me eating. All right, cool. Oh, that's a violation. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, man. I, th I thought you was gonna get the rest of your panel. But anyway, let me go ahead and say this. Uh no, I don't want to do that. Get everybody else and then come to me back last so I can finish. Okay. This. Uh smooth. Hey guys, man, uh, thank you for watching another episode. Happy birthday to the big boss, Big Gumbo, BG. You know what I mean? Big Gumbo? <laughs> I thought it was Gumbo. I thought it was Gumbo. <laughs> I thought it was Gumbo. <laughs> oh, my bad. I'll, I'll be both. I'll be both. Um, also, um, yeah, make sure you guys check out my um, The Ascent Oppressions on my channel. Um, check it out, you know. Um, and um, yeah, man, I got a couple things uh, going on. But um, otherwise, we will see you guys next week. Bond? Already went Western Digital. We're, we're oh. good. Uh, Blandrew. Episode this week, guys. Make sure you check out the channel. I uploaded the Badland Wonder World retrospective, and this week I'm trying to upload another video about why you should check out Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania this October. So if that interests you, make sure you guys check out the channel. All right. And uh, K Mega, back to you. All right, I'm good. I got it down. All right, so here we go. Um, you know, thank you guys for the invite, man. Really appreciate it. Um. You can check me out tonight uh, about 9 30, 10 o'clock uh, Central Time. I do a thing called Fight Night Sunday on Twitch um, and on, on the uh, K Mega 405, where we play nothing but fighters. And so tonight, uh, the lineup is Killer Instinct and, and Mortal Kombat 11. After that, it can evolve to whatever it is. Come and check us out. If you want to, uh, you know, just jump in and play with us, man, just hit me up. Let me know. We are. Uh, are every, you guys every... playing Guilty Gear? Oh yeah, I play Guilty Gear as well. Yeah, no, on, on PC, no doubt. You get no I'm doubt. I'm saying like on your Sunday fight nights or whatever. Oh yeah, no, anytime. Like if there's people that want to come in and they want to hit me up and they say, "Hey, I, I want to play Guilty Gear," hit me up. Hit mm -hmm. me up. Uh, Kmega four hundred five uh, on Twitter. Um, you can hit me up in the DMs. You can hit me up in public. Say, hey, look, I want to play these type of fighters or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I am a, I'm a dude that loves fighters. It doesn't matter what platform they are on because I have them. It doesn't matter. We, you know, Smash, even even Smash. I suck at Smash because I haven't played Smash, but uh, that much. But I will get in there and I'll fight and play with anybody. It's it's just all about love and having and just showing people uh, all different types of um. Fighters that's out there. Uh, last week we was playing EX Layer uh, and and Million Dollar Arthur, all different types of fighters. So yeah, come check us out tonight. Uh, also, um, you can check me out on um, uh, on my channel K Mega Four Hundred Five, uh, the GRG Podcast, every Friday night. Um, I'm going to be taking a little hiatus for the next couple of weeks, but uh, the GRG Podcast uh, Friday nights, eight p.m. Central, nine p.m. Eastern. 6 p.m. Pacific, 2 a.m. Uh, GMT time. Come and check us out. Uh, I'm also on another podcast with my boy Xbox 448 on Thursday nights, 7 p.m. Central, uh, which is the next podcast. And, man, I definitely appreciate this. Um, you can come check us out. Also do another podcast, which is called The Devin the Gamer. We do How that many every podcasts other week. Won? Bro, I'm, <laughs> this I, I'm out here. For the show. <laughs> I'm out here. Devin the Gamer. Uh, we do that every other, oh, yeah. other every other week on Tuesday nights and uh, about 10 p.m. And uh, that's what we do, man. So thank you guys. Deep in the in the ref, you know, why are you ain't finishing these games? God damn. Bro, I'm finishing all types of games. I finish more games than you. Have you finished Scarlet Nexus? I and, and bought it. Scarlet Nexus hey. is, is amazing. Amazing. Hey, we out. I'm going to my dinner. We'll catch y'all. We'll catch y'all next week. Happy birthday, baby.